Hello, hello! Happy Sunday! I know it's kind of a weird schedule. <laughs> it's kind of a, a schedule change. Hey, Starbreeze! Hey, Beefball! Hey, Vulcan! How's everybody doing? Ba -ba 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 -ba. And Andrew, I see you there too. Stay a while and listen. Beef Bowl just resubscribed hey. for 16 months. 16 hey, months. Lucid, looking lethal. Oh, thank you. How are you doing? How's everybody doing? Hope your weekend's been well. How's it be? Awesome, of course you do. Hey, Alucard. Of course you do. <laughs> looking lethal. Thank you, Beef Bowl, for the 16 months. Holy moly. Hello there. Hello there. Hey, Kiwi. I'm doing tipsy. <laughs> it is a Sunday, and I don't have I don't have work tomorrow because it's I I got a three day weekend, which is why I'm streaming tonight and tomorrow. Playing some Bloodborne, trying for the plat again. Ooh, nice. Good luck. Oh, and, and Star <laughs> Starbreeze about the 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 starting soon uh, animation gif Ooh. thing. Moo. Um, yeah, I had <laughs> I did that frame by frame in a. Uh, in Photoshop because that's the only way I knew how to animate at the time because I made this like it was like a temp animation I made like two years ago um and yeah I think for the lighting if I remember it was like a like frame by frame I did like a brush to make like the the lighting follow the bat it's it's clever but it's so bad <laughs> like there are way better easier ways to do what I did <laughs> it was just all I knew how to do Let's see, how are you doing, fellow Lilith Appreciator? I am so excited. Stay a while and listen. Starbreeze underscore Twitch Star just resubscribed for seven months. You make thank great you. art. Oh, thank you for this. Oh my god, thank you for the seven months and thank you for the prime. Oh, you're so sweet. <laughs> oh, that I appreciate it. Yeah, I, I mean, I know, I know it's always going to be the case that like I can see the flaws in like my own art. So I, I, I appreciate that. <laughs> Oh, seven months as wild. Well. Thank you so much. Temp animation that has become a staple of the stream. I know. Everything that is supposed to be temporary becomes like a staple here because I'm so slow to change things. <laughs> like my backgrounds. Like this background. Also something that was temp that I haven't changed in like two years. Uh, someday I'll get around to changing it. I have plans. Always. It just takes forever. You may- ah! You all started a fucking high tree! The 500 biddies, thank you so much, Andrew! Under underscore Ruchier, Dex 500, Choo Choo. Oh my god, this train I'm goes still to going. The moon. <laughs> it is going to the moon. I, th I see it now. It's so cold. Is that Paprika? Yes, I love that movie. Never truly looked at the background. Is that Paprika? Yes, I love that movie. <laughs> Thank you for the 500 biddies! I appreciate it, Andrew. Thank you! <laughs> like, like the Christmas stuff. I haven't changed out the Christmas stuff since Christmas. <laughs> Perfect example right there. <laughs> but yeah, at some point when I update the background, I might add more posters. Uh, but yeah, Paprika was like one of my big uh, inspirations but uh, behind getting into... Uh, like VTubing and stuff, and behind my like lore and stuff. Composer for Paprika is Susume Hirasawa, and he's an absolute genius. Ooh, I didn't know anything about the composer for Paprika. The surplus Christmas stuff just can't get rid of it. <laughs> Gotta use it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. We just have a stockpile, infinite stockpile of Christmas stuff. Let's see. When did I get a VIP tag? Ah, uh, I haven't changed the VIP stuff in a little bit, so a, a little while ago. <laughs> Congratulations. Hello there. Hey, Pain. Hello there. Hope you're having a good night too. Welcome in. You did the Berserk soundtrack too. Ooh, for do you know which particular version of Berserk or what like I iteration? Because I know there's like a few, right? I haven't watched any of them. I want to read the manga first. Because I've I've seen the the gorgeous art in the manga, so I want to read the I want to read the manga before I watch any of the animes. Thank you, Lucid. It, that's true. Let's see. God, Steam suddenly starts playing. <laughs> Let's see. OG Berserk anime. Ooh, okay. That's like the. Is that considered the best one? I think it's the one I I usually see like 
uh, like gifs and screenshots. That was the OG. Susumu Hirasawa. I'll try to remember Ooh. that name. Moo. Stay a while <laughs> and listen. Huh? Collective, is that you, Quinn? Thank you so much. Oh my god. Under underscore Rue just gifted one subs. Oh, I see. Andrew, thank you for the gift sub. Thank you so much. Congratulations, Collective. Hey, Dwayne, how are you doing when I see you there? And the music, incredible. Yeah. Oh. After you get this train started for real. Y'all are, are to level two. <laughs> thank you so much. I haven't even started stream. Jeez. <laughs> Hey, Garbage Genesis, it's the best adaptation, but it's still nowhere near the manga. 97 Berserk is really good for what it is, though. Yeah, see, that's I think that's the consensus of what I've seen, which is why I want to read the manga first, and then I'll probably just start with the OG anime. Berserk is extremely popular. There's a couple metal bands that have done songs about and a tribute to the series. Yeah, I mean, I know how influential Berserk is on, like, games that I love, like, from soft games. Like, they make that very obvious. <laughs> Like I love dark fantasy, so I'm sure I'm sure if I gave it if I like spent the time, I I would absolutely get really into it. Let's see. If it started stream, then who are we listening to? I don't know. Am I even here? <laughs> but tonight we're playing some more Diablo 3. I really want to finish the game before 4 comes out on Thursday, which I'm so excited about. <laughs> I, I, I can barely contain my excitement. So the game better not disappoint me. <laughs> but tonight we're going to go through Act 4 of Diablo 3. And then tomorrow we'll go, we'll go through Act 5 and, and finish it. Berserk's probably the best dark fantasy. I mean, it's certainly one of the most influential pieces of dark fantasy, I think. At least, like, in modern day. Let's see. Why don't we... Why don't we get into the game? It's, your excitement's infectious. I know. I feel kind of bad about it. <laughs> I know I might have accidentally maybe influenced a few people into buying the game, maybe. <laughs> I feel a little bad about that. Of course you do. Of course you do. Four out of honors are 124 rise. <laughs> I need to rebalance the, the cost of some redeems, maybe. Alright, I'm going to pause the music. Diablo 3, please don't crash, because I'm always paranoid about that now. Did influence me, but I've always been a fan of Diablo. Yeah, I mean, if you were always a fan, I mean, that's one thing. Make right cheaper. <laughs> it's already 500. That's like barely anything. That's like watching stream for like an hour. All right. Meow. Oh, I need to switch back to my bone mommy. Let's see. Wow! wow. Hey, Sam. Welcome in. Hope you're having a good night. Happy Sunday. Let's see. So I'll be able to game with you day one. Yeah, I'm so excited about that. I need to. I'm gonna set up the clan and stuff too when I uh, when we start on Thursday. I'm still torn. Because I know our clan's going to be Luminoid Nexus, just like the Discord, but I'm still torn between, for the, the shorthand, a bit being Nexus or Lemon. Because I kind of like, I kind of like the little bit of symmetry that I see in the word Lemon, but I almost feel, I, I feel like Nexus would be more, like, recognizable. My body ready for, I mean, Diablo 4. <laughs> I'm so excited. I'm interested in Diablo personally, but it makes me happy seeing people excited about the game. I, I hear that. I love seeing people excited about things and, like, really passionate about it. So I'm gonna be asleep soon, but I want to stop by. I hope you get good sleep when you go to sleep. Get good sleep when you go to sleep. You know what I mean. Good. Hope you get, like, sweet dreams and get good rest. Let's see. When did you become a moon monster? <laughs> Quick. Here, I can swap out our little, our little pet buddy. I could even swap it to another cow. <laughs> Because I have, I have two. We can make it the one that's just a cow. <laughs> just, a, just a cow. Let's see. You convinced me to watch streams about the album instead of ignoring it completely? Honestly, yeah. If you're not interested in playing the game, like, what? I mean, watching it's pretty good. Saves you money, for sure. 
see, the game might be a little loud. I always feel like it's too loud when I start, and then I'm like later on in the stream, I'm like, nah, it's fine. Farm Mancer. Thank you so much for the hype train, by the way. Enjoy the emotes if you if you got any new emotes. Thank you so much. Let's see, honestly, passion is the most beautiful thing. I don't mean like attractive, I mean just like generally beautiful scene. I agree! I think I think it's a great thing. We close that. But yeah, no, I agree. It's beautiful seeing people passionate about stuff and excited. Need that money to spend on Final Fantasy 16. <laughs> We've all got our thing. Imperious, you cannot mean to face Diablo again. Your wounds are barely healed. The heavens burn. This is your fault, Tyrion. Maybe. You, <laughs> it might Look be a little bit. And see what your kind has wrought. My kind, excuse me. Excuse me, I claim no responsibility over this. Material? Yeah, definitely. Eat Imperius. <laughs> I think that might be a little hard. Stop crushing on Lilith, she a demon and you're a vampire wouldn't work out. <laughs> Excuse? I'm both. <laughs> also, hey, Mr. Dark Souls, welcome in. You wouldn't know that it would work out. <laughs> it could work out. <laughs> the Diamond Gates have stood since the light first broke over the high heavens. Now they lie in ruins. Imperius is right. I am the cause of this. Yeah. You could not have foreseen it. Long ago, my brethren and I voted to decide the fate of man. I cast the final vote that spared you from extinction. Now humanity has birthed the prime. Yeah, but some some remorse there, Tyrion. Some regrets. I can assure you of that. But you don't understand. Hope has been silenced. So when he says that, he means that literally, like the aspect of hope has been silenced. <laughs> so let's see. Oh, hey, Brad. welcome in. Hope you're having a good night. Happy Sunday. Even everyone has a good one. Happy Memorial Day. Is it Memorial? No. Oh, it's not Memorial Day here for a few more hours, but yeah, happy early Memorial Day. That's why I have Monday off from work. <laughs> it's like West Side Story, you know? <laughs> eat cereal, no regrets. I mean, he is mortal. We could eat him, technically. I still probably wouldn't want to. Cereal, the espresso depresso. <laughs> it, it kind of is. Uh, I mean, going by the events of Diablo 2 and before that, kind of is his fault if you like connect the dots, you know, if you squint really hard and you know turn your head a little bit. Kind of is his fault. We are lost. But Imperius is just we an asshole. Too Always before the lords of hell bickered and worked against each other, they undid themselves within Diablo, within the prime. The prime cut. No such division. And now. The halls of the high heavens quake beneath his steps. There's no division, only because, uh, and see, this is a reveal in the book of Adria, uh, that Adria crafted the, the seals on the Black Soul Stone to give Diablo complete, uh, control over it, but they still annoy him, because in Heroes of the Storm, the, the little, the little heads on his shoulders still talk to him and whisper and don't shut up. <laughs> so they express themselves, they just can't do anything about it. The full embodiment of lawful nature. The primeval? Kind? It's kind of like the full embodiment of like the id, I guess. In a little bit. In a little bit of a way. The head angle. <laughs> the prime evil. I can't believe all this has come to pass. Adria played us all for fools. Diablo's influence still, twisted She was her not subtle about her being girls. evil. I suspect. We have not seen the last of her. Dun, dun, dun. I should have known that Leah's father was the Wanderer. How could I not have sensed Diablo's foul presence within her? Yeah, how did you not figure that out? But poor Leah. I grieve for her soul. Whatever her fate is, it cannot be changed by grief. Damn, that's cold. <laughs> well, whatever happened to her, let's not grieve about it too long. Let's see, time to get back to Bloodborne and lurking. Good luck, Alucard! Have fun with Bloodborne. I'm still hoping and praying for a PC release someday. 
let's see, I'm craving some generic fantasy nonsense RPG stuff like this. Just angels and primevals and demons and stuff. But I hate our ARPGs. Yeah, I can understand that. I'm still not entirely sure I like ARPGs outside of Diablo. <laughs> I play Diablo for the lore and the world building. <laughs> Truly sit down and play Bloodborne, but Dark Souls 2 is first on my list. Oh, I love Dark Souls 2. Alright. Gaze upon the destruction I have wrought. It will be the last thing you see. Iskato, destroy the Nephilim. So something you're gonna notice. I do not fear you, Nephilim. You find only death in this eternal realm. Okay. I wonder how much damage I'm gonna be doing at this point. On master difficulty. Oh, so something you're gonna notice is that Diablo is very much now a Saturday morning cartoon villain. <laughs> He's never going to shut up through the rest of his act. And he's not really going to say anything of substance. Some of the dialogue is kind of cool. I think that's just Iskatu that's talking. But yeah, it's going to be a lot of Never, how did you defeat me and know of my plans? Anyway, here, let me tell you the next part of my plan in great detail so you can stop me. So basically exactly what Asmodan was doing in the last act. Did you get in time for the Diablo monologue arc? Yes, you're just in time. <laughs> I'm still- I might need to switch up my weapons. Let's see. I'm a CRPG and regular RPG kind of person. Also, how's the volume? Is it too loud? I can't- I, I can't- I keep not being able to tell if it's too loud. Yeah, I also like CRPGs. Like, I- one I immediately go to is always Dragon Age Origins. If your ARPGs are only good if you have a lot- uh... <laughs> monster confirmed! <laughs> My at least- at least for me, I guess. Let's see, never shutting up or never saying anything of substance. He's just like me for real. It's like, oh no, he's relatable now. That is not possible. It's not possible. Let's see. Also, hey Syrup, I hope you're having a great night. Hope you're having a great Sunday. What's everyone been up to this weekend? Best villain dialogue, old gods in World of Warcraft. I never got that far in World of Warcraft. Volume's good? Okay. Weakness but yeah, I never got too far in World of Warcraft. I'm trying to remember how far I even got. I mostly played... I played a bunch of Classic. Like, when it, when it re-released. Not when, like, not like Classic Classic when it first came out. I missed that boat. And I played... I played a little bit of, like, the regular retail one. Because I like the... Can abide you no longer. What's that one race that, like, could be like a... You have like a tail and you can be like blue and have horns. Am I thinking of Jaini? It's been that long, I forget everything. You believe you can defeat me, mortal. But I don't think I even got out of the like Yeah, Draenei. Yeah, I don't think I even got off tutorial the, the tutorial island though. Yeah, yeah, that's the one. I like the Draenei designs. And I also tried- I, tr I tried very briefly to get into Final Fantasy, uh, 14, and I think I played for, like, a couple weeks? I got to, like, level maybe 20, I think? Oh! Here he goes. Every moment I delay you, I draw closer to my ultimate victory. Mm-hmm, sure thing. <laughs> You definitely did not stop me in my evil plans, Nephilim. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, an angel. It's ethereal. Well, he, he's not really a huge player in things, despite being the Archangel of Fate. But there he is. 
rarely ever seen. <laughs> An angle. <laughs> I'll get you next time, Gadget. Yeah, well, probably. <laughs> it's so barely not. It, that, that's basically what. That basically. Dude has a scroll and he is happy. I mean, he's not really happy, but he does have a scroll. Let's see, I'm taking a very long break from it, burn myself out. Been playing 14 since 2017. Whoa. When did the when did the I know 14 like came out like a while before the rebirth thing. When was that? I don't remember when exactly that was. I feel like that was like 20 was that 2016-ish? I don't remember. I am Ethereal, Archangel of Fate. It is my duty to record what is and what will be within the scroll of fate. But you, Nephilim, you are not in the scroll. Your fate is unwritten. I would see the angels saved and the heavens restored. Perhaps fate can be changed. Quickly then, Ariel, Archangel of Hope, has been captured by Rakanoth. The Lord of Despair. I will free her. See, we gotta free Hope. Cause like Tyriel said, Hope has been silenced. <laughs> so, I said, uh, back in Act 3, that when we got to Act 4, you'd really see just how high fantasy this game actually is, and not really so much dark fantasy. And I feel like the aesthetic of the High Heavens very clearly exemplifies that. Cause like, the, the way the corruption is visualized and stuff, you don't really see very much that's, like, really horrific or anything until, like, some of the later areas. So we're very much in, like, kind of Not slightly essence. dark, heavenly aesthetic for, like, the rest of this act. So it's, like, yeah, it feels very high fantasy to me, like, in general. Like, you look around, it's like, ooh, it's very pretty. But it's also just not... It's not the grim, dark fantasy of, like, Diablo that you would expect. Like, outside of, like, maybe some gore from killing demons and, like, the corpses that I'm spawning as a necromancer. I can bring that down. Looks like a Warcraft level. Yeah, it has- it's way closer to that kind of aesthetic. My essence is too low. It's definitely a very stark difference from the Act uh, 4 of Diablo 2 where we were in Hell, being in Heaven. Old oh, man Jenkins. <laughs> Maybe Diablo 3 does he say? I would have gotten away with it too if it were for you meddling Nephilim. <laughs> and I found Cow too. God, like I said, it's that's not a very far cry from like how it feels. How the how the, the vibe the dialogue gives off. I need essence. Let's see. This were a Protoss base. Yeah, the blue aesthetic especially reminds me a lot of, like, StarCraft 2. Yeah, let me lower the difficulty just a little bit, because I'm not quite doing as much damage yet. So I need to swap out my weapons. Looks like Darksiders. I've still never played Darksiders. I think I have... I think I have one of them on Steam? I forget which one I have, though. But yeah, I've never played any of them. Let's see, just wants to loot the old pirate ship. <laughs> we buried under the high heavens. You, are you suggesting that, like, to Diablo, this is all like a like a reenactment of the Goonies? <laughs> but with like all the lords of hell, like the all the, the would they be good companions or they be well? They weren't working with him, I guess. They're more like probably more like the uh, the antagonist. Oh, it's been a long time since I've seen the Goonies, the bad guys in that movie. That were trying to get to the ship before them. Well, this looks exactly like Darksiders Heaven. Now I'm really curious to check that out. Even just to look at like screenshots to see. This Star Darksiders is actually kind of fun. What kind of game is it again? Is it like it's like a third person like action game, right? I think. Pull the mask off the Oblo. It's <laughs> And then they pull another mess, and it's Adria. You cannot pass. Yet. You cannot pass. 
And then they, <laughs> they pull off another mask and it's Adria. And then they pull it off and it's Old Man Smithers. Oh my god. It was Old Man Smithers all along. Scooby-Doo villain in this game? Yes, that is very much the vibes that he has. Still really cool, though. Let's see. And then his chest pops open and it's Scrappy-Doo. <laughs> Scrappy-Dappy-Doo. It's like a hack and slash Zelda Metroidvania. Oh! I see, I see. Action adventure with some Metroidvania. Hmm. I didn't know it was Metroidvania. One was pretty fun, haven't played two yet. I'm gonna do so many collab episodes, the Netflix meet the Horn Grove Trotters. <laughs> hey Xavier! Hello, hello! Hope you're having a good night. Happy Sunday. Alright, boss time. Time to fight Rackinoth. And free hope. There she is. You think yourself free from the chains of fate, Nephilim, but all will kneel before Lord Diablo. So this is Rackinoth, Lord of Despair. And even he's not immune to being frozen by my skeletons. All ends with Nephilim on Giggle. <laughs> Oh my god. It's- it's- I'm tired. Gilligan's Island. All the Transformers turn into a cruise ship to rescue them all for the final collab. <laughs> my god, what a crossover. Crossover, crossover. Just saying Scrappy Doo and the Scooby Doo movies are pretty dang that demonic looking villain. To be fair, that was mostly due to the terrifying early CGI. Because, <laughs> I mean, it was like the early 2000s. Like that. If, if I remember correctly, that was like the main reason why it looked freaking terrifying. <laughs> yes, this 100%. If you appeared in Diablo 1, I wouldn't bat a fucking eye. True, though. With that early CGI, like, it, like appearing in a cutscene, I buy it. Quick update. <laughs> fuck poison swamps. Fuck frenzy. Fuck <laughs> Sounds like typical, uh... From soft experience. Fuck poison, fuck poison swamps. <laughs> Cause boy do they all have one. I need essence. Or in some cases, sometimes they have multiple poison swamps. Cause one's just not enough. Hmm, hell riffs. Hmm, that's interesting information. Thank you there. <laughs> Enjoy your lurk, savior. I don't think the Lord of Despair made you despair all that much, Lucid. I think he needs to be renamed to Lord of Despairing. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it, it was pretty cool. He's pretty cool, I, that, I think. We barely get to see any of them, but like, the impression's there. I'm looking at the, some of the aesthetic, but can't really see too much over the banister. Now, I know a lot of people really like Ariel. She even got, uh, she even made it into Heroes of the Storm. Which not all of the angels did. Like, I don't, I don't think Ethereal's in, like, anything else. But Ariel's the one female archangel, so, you know, she's everywhere. But she is pretty. I like how her wings are more, like, wispy and swoop down compared to some of the other angels. Like, all of the ar archangels have, like, unique-looking wings. Lord of Despair, possibly the Lord of Minor Annoyance. <laughs> Can we get, like, Captain Planet to fight Diablo at this point? He's gotten a la level of preachy monologue. Oh, it gets worse. I mean, better? More amusing, for sure. <laughs> what? The world? Avuga? Some people definitely reacted that way. Thank you, Nephilim. I hope the scroll of fate was wrong. That harmony would once again fill this troubled realm. I see now that all hope 
lies in you. We can't do anything. You have to fix our problems, please. Blessing, you can now dispel Diablo's corruption. It hides the rifts which bring his cursed servants to this hallowed place. The rifts must be closed. I have found Arya, so abrupt. the Archangel of Hope. With her aid, the High Heavens may yet prevail, though Tyrael is still lost. Diablo's presence scars these halls, and the battle rages on in his infernal portals. Little brief catch up on what we literally just watched. For a brief moment, we can shit chat with the with the archangels a little bit. <laughs> oh, I remember. Oh yeah, just saying. All Diablo needed to say was like, "You'll never reach the golden <laughs> found office in time to stop me." <laughs> oh, he's actually attacking the silver spire to be off to the golden lost and found office. Yeah, he could lie at any point and derail us, but he's just so honest to a fault for some reason in this in the dialogue in Act Four, and I don't know why. Just because I mean, it's kind of in theme with like the, how the rest of the game has gone, and you kind of realize it at this point that this entire time the only reason we've made any progress is because the villains have just told us what they're gonna do next, either through a vision that they gave to Leah, or from Magda just telling us. <laughs> So, it's kind of just par for the course at this point. It's kind of just in pattern with the rest of the game. Contrivance. He's a very honest fellow. Good on him. <laughs> Lying's pretty rude. Well, he's definitely not the Lord of Lies, I guess. That's Belial. Yeah, let's see if being honest pays off for them. <laughs> All really nice to us to <laughs> tell us what they're about to do. <laughs> yeah, they're they're... Like I said, probably honest to a fault. His <laughs> Hey, Stargazer, my queen. <laughs> How are you doing? Happy Sunday. He's not the Lord of Lies, he's the Lord of Fries. Only once in the history of Sanctuary has a Nephilim been as powerful as you. His name was Odysseus. I remember him from the books. Some call him a myth. He was no myth. Because of his noble sacrifice, I saw the inherent potential in your kind. As such, I voted with Aurea to spare mankind from annihilation. Tyrael blamed us for Diablo's return, yet we are all that stands between the angels and certain death. Ironic, huh? Yeah, but it, it's kind of funny the way he refers to Odysseus, because I remember from the books, from the Sin War series, that, like, g this goes, uh, that he's basically referencing, which had, like, the the vote to exterminate mankind in it and stuff. Odysseus was kind of an asshole. <laughs> like, if I remember, if I remember from the books, he was just kind of like a punch things first, ask questions later kind of guy. His brother, Mendel, was way more interesting, and he ends up becoming the, like, the first necromancer under Rothma. But Odysseus was just kind of a dick. <laughs> but I mean, yeah, he did get that vote started, so I mean, thanks. <laughs> you just read about him? Must be hungry, I've seen pizza and fries mention him just sitting here like, both those things sound good. Yeah, I had... I had some mofongo earlier, and some uh, beef steak. That was what I had for, for lunch dinner. L lunch dinner? And some amarillos? Oh my god. I still have a bunch of leftovers I'm gonna nibble on after- after stream. Somewhat? Uh... It, it's like mashed plantains? I guess is how you would describe, uh, mofongo? And bistec is just like steak with onions? Oh, you don't mean the- you don't mean the liner? <laughs> Let's see. Din- dinunch, the best- the best meal of the day. Yeah, li liner or or or, or dunch, Din dinunch, dinch. That sounds amazing. It was so fucking good. How can you look into the future? I see the myriad streams of possibility all intertwining and weaving into one another. I can hear them echoing forward into eternity. That's, that's pretty noisy. Choose the path. 
I am not called to be a champion as you are. My role is simply to observe. So he just he just watches stuff happen. You get to see him actually fight in the uh, Wrath animation that was that uh I think came out before the I think came out before the game. The food you talk about always sounds delicious. I always find something new to study and try making at home. I'm glad. Yeah, I'm I'm always glad to to uh give give ideas for like new foods and stuff to try. Thinking about making a run to Taco Bell for an enchilada. Oh my god, Taco Bell, my guilty pleasure. Their grilled cheese burrito is freaking good. You hiding a secret power from us that Right Eye has never shown? Hmm. It remains to be seen. I'll say that. Slightly slept all day, so I figure I should out figure out what I'm having for dinner, breakfast, meal, the meal of the day. What is the fortune? Big meal end of this battle. Doom and darkness. These heavens ruined. The angelic coast broken. Diablo. Victorious. Man, what a downer. It cannot be. As I have said, Nephilim, your destiny is unwritten. You alone may change these dark times. So yeah, we're not written in his book of fate, so he can't see whether or not we're gonna, like, save the day, I guess. Mmm, <laughs> meal. Mix all three together and you get the ultimate meal. That a champion from the mortal world would light our darkest hour. Your courage and nobility shine out across this realm, blinding our enemies. I do not deserve such praise. Had I acted faster, this darkness never would have come to pass. I know you will do all you can, for this is your hour. Go forth with my blessing, and show all creation why the Nephilim are the future. Man, they're so encouraging, aren't they? It's gonna be a stark contrast to Imperius. <laughs> Lucy can't show the other eye because it looks like... I do have the other eye drawn, actually. You just can't see it. In my country, we usually eat a light meal for breakfast and dinner, and a big meal for lunch. Hmm, I usually eat... Hmm, I feel like in, in the US it's... You're supposed to eat breakfast or dinner as the biggest meal? I guess for me it would be lunch, because I don't really eat breakfast. And then I usually eat a light dinner compared to my lunch. Or I eat like my leftovers from lunch for dinner. Mongekyo shouting gun. <laughs> no, but also that's really funny. I'm Rinnegan? No! No, no Naruto, uh, no, no, no ocular jutsus. Top secret information, there's actually another, there's actually an eye there. Yeah, there actually is. I love the leftovers, me too. Tyrael is no longer himself. There is a shadow upon his heart. He feels guilty. Yes, remember, he chose to be a mortal. And he must overcome this despair as a mortal. That is what worries me. Have faith in him. Of all the Archangels, his light has always shone the brightest. In this our darkest hour, he will ensure that justice prevails. I'm going through all the dialogue for them because we don't really see them very often after this point. So, it's kind of a novelty to get to talk to them. Let's lure. Let's see. Somewhat hearty lunch because I have it, uh, because I have it at work. Work is very physical, so I have the energy to keep going. Yeah, I think that's one of the reasons I got into the habit of just eating a big lunch, was, like, eating a lunch at work for my lunch break. And then, that would have to hold me over for, like, the rest of the day. Don't really have much of a schedule, so I just eat whatever, whenever. Whatever. Whatever. That's <laughs> a big deal. <laughs> God, now I'm gonna have that sock stuck in my head. Tyrell can be tempted as a mortal now. We gotta. Oh, God! Oh, no! Tyrell's so naive, too, and gullible for stupid shit. No, it's so in character. It's, <laughs> it's that's so in character for me to get fooled into something like that. I hate that. Thanks. <laughs> 
understand why you're racing now is because no one can touch you to the power of infinity. <laughs> I certainly wouldn't be able to proceed if someone was trying to, I think. Protect our naive angel boy. <laughs> what will you do now? Though the angelic host is scattered, we are not defeated. I will try to rally them as best I can. Kirill has a sad A profile pic. God, that's so depressing. Because he's so gullible. He absolutely would fall for a scam like that. How do you believe Diablo can be defeated? I bet Iswal would sell him on it. I will take part from it and hope for your victory. The future is ever writing itself. Unknowable. Just beyond sight and touch. God, now I have this, like, weird idea of, like, <laughs> Prime Evil's getting Iswal to trick an Ethereal into buying NFTs. <laughs> That's such a, like, modern thing, like, a modern interpretation of a story that could I could easily see happening with the characters. Iswal would definitely bring Ethereal to kill the <laughs> Exactly. Oh my god. How has this fanfic not been written yet? It's so many timeshares by the end of the month. My essence is too low. Oh man, these are the these are the silly fanfics I would absolutely live for. That's just it's so silly. So now we have to find and destroy corrupt growths to find hell rift portals. Since you know Diablo was so kind enough to uh, hint that that's what we need to do next. Your real works for <laughs> God. Again, I could totally see it. It's too in character. Love fanfics, to be honest. It's been a long time since I've really like read them a lot, but man, I was I was big into that scene in middle and high school. Not enough essence. Wait, none of you is the the elite. Where's the elite? You're all minions. You're free now, Angel. Also, I haven't checked in any of the gear that I've been picking up. Is there anything good? 347 damage! See, this is what I mean by I need to upgrade my, my items I'm, I'm using. Hmm. Hmm, hang on, hang on, hang on. My Here, after I, 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 let's, after I get out of this area, I'm gonna go back to town. Actually, after I kill this dude. I am returning Because I think I have town. something in my stack that I can use. Let's see, 27, still love him. Yeah, you're about the same age that I am. Most of the reason why I don't read them too much now is just I don't have time to, to like, read things. <laughs> the pain of being an adult. Let's see. Hmm. It's like, I want to use either of these legendaries that I have. But I do need the extra damage. I'm torn. Oh, that 497. Hmm. It's tricky, because I don't have Kanai's cube yet to just, like, take the effect from the... <laughs> From this, uh, from the scythe, and just keep it. Hmm. I guess I'll toss all this stuff. Oh well. Oh, you know what I couldn't well. No, we don't have Kadal until adventure mode. Never mind. We're doing this the hard way. I'm so used to adventure mode these days. Clearly. Let's see. Tyrell posting pics of his Insta. <laughs> Oh my god. This good, mildly believable creepypastas. We were actually, actually- we had a conversation about creepypastas not too long ago, didn't we? We were talking about like some of the classics and stuff, like Ben Drowned and stuff. <laughs> Nephilim, you don't understand. The man in this magic box is broken down. <laughs> no! I need essence. Silly Tyrael, oh god. Materials will just believe anything. 
just like I don't know how anyone believed Adria like the entire time. I like I feel like RMC was pretty clearly distrustful of Adria from the start. Like we were sassy as fuck the entire time. But like we still went along with her plan the whole time. And then we act surprised that she turned out to be evil. It's like, well, we were kind of the only one that like thought that she was evil. Everyone else was kind of the dummy. The grave beckons. But we're just so like passive that we're just kind of like, okay, well, everyone else is trusting her, so we'll just go with it. Where is Fallen, broken. He knows the truth now. I will be victorious. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Also get the furial, furial. <laughs> this is why the words, the feeling Tyrael would pay for Tyrael. <laughs> this creature will die. But what kind of things would Tyrael be posting about? What kind of what kind of tweeter would Tyrael be? That's what I'm curious. <laughs> I'm curious what the, what the headcanon there is. Aside from obviously shilling whatever scam he's fallen for. I'm screaming no. <laughs> It's like the worst head cannon. Hitler's serial fallen covered in the T's red pill. Goddamn. And where is Tyrael? Sad posting on main. <laughs> My essence is too low. <laughs> I'm enjoying this too much. He would accidentally post like he was searching the <laughs> Oh my god. He's I mean, he is new to the whole being mortal thing. I could see that. Oh hate Ariel. You must close the hell rift before you may proceed. Okay. <laughs> That that's that's all you came to, to tell me. All right. But yeah, you can see all, all overhead. You can see like demons flying by. Some of the, like the background stuff is kind of neat. And like uh, you can see on other floors, you can see angels and demons just kind of fighting. I like that. I like the little details like that. So yeah, we gotta go destroy more hellers first. Or corrupt growths, I guess I should say. That's what we need to break. He's the last two? No, there's another path back here. It's just a tumba. Look upon these gardens. Now they seed with the corruption of hell. Of hell. At least, at least he sounds like he's having fun. I mean, he's definitely telling us exactly what we need to do, but, again, he's having fun. So, I can't really be too mad at him, I guess. Teaching serial computers would take new levels of patience not yet discovered by mankind. God, it's a good thing that they weren't in an era where they had computers, because that would be a nightmare. Teaching serial internet safety. Serial, please don't dox yourself again. The Angiris Council is comprised of the five archangels who hold dominion over the high heavens. Lord. They determine the laws by which all angels must abide. Each of them embodies a pure aspect of creation. Valor, justice, hope, faith, and wisdom. And wisdom. Who we will not be seeing, I don't think. I think, I, at least I think he's not like the only one that doesn't show up. With the aim to destroy it. You will not succeed. Ah, you've uncovered my plan. You'll definitely not succeed essence. in stopping me. Tells me exactly what to do though, <laughs> again. <laughs> like, Oculus what? I had never heard of anything like that. But okay, I guess I'll break it. Thanks for the tip. Well done, Nephilim. Diablo's vile minion. Can no longer use this rift to find their way into the Silver City. Now only one rift remains. Man, I didn't realize you could even just break the rift before you even kill Hammer Rash. We could just leave. 
Is he attacking Ariel? No, he's attacking my skeletons. She's just kind of standing there. Ariel, you could help. You could, you, you could, you could help. You could do something. You just gonna, you just gonna stand there. All right, that's fine. I'll do everything myself. You don't understand, Nephilim. This person online said they we're a top Navy SEAL with a high, with a high kill record. There's no justice in that, Nephilim. Damn it. <laughs> Falling for coffee pastas and stuff. This is not the only hell rift. The flow of my legions will not stop. <laughs> oh, there's other hell rifts? Thanks for letting me know. <laughs> Every fucking time. Every time we do something to like try and hinder him, he just immediately tells us what we need to do next. Every time, without fail. It it's the pattern. You may have defeated my one plan, but you won't defeat my other two backup plans. Here, let me tell you them in great detail. So we gotta find more- more corrupt that growths. More hell rips. Let's see. See, so yeah, if anyone didn't see my- my schedules that I posted, Ah, uh, because I was trying to go into as much detail as I could I about what the idea essence. was going to be for for later this week. Boom. <laughs> but um, but basically, uh, so Diablo Four is going to go live at like seven p.m. my time, uh, on Thursday, and then I have like the rest of the week after that off from work. So I'm basically just going to play until I get tired, and then, uh, who knows whenever that would be. And then I'll get off, sleep a little bit, uh, maybe eat something, and then I'll uh, I'll tweet and like post on a on Discord like uh, an hour or so before I go live again, and then we'll just jump right back into it, and that'll basically be like the routine. Let's see, wouldn't better if he was acting like a Sunday morning cartoon villain, but he was using that as a cover to keep you distracted with pointless stuff while his real plan goes unabated. It would have been a lot more clever if he was just lying. Like, lying the whole time. But again, he's just very clearly not. He's just gloating. Again, like a like a Saturday morning cartoon villain. <laughs> nice try, Nephilim, but you cannot fathom that I have three other Hellgates, which you don't know the location of, which is to the east, which you'll never look. <laughs> you'll never- you'll definitely never look in this location, right here. Here, let me- let me point to you on a map. <laughs> Just in case, so you don't miss it. <laughs> so here. Wonder if he's gloating because he's got Asmodan's soul inside. So I... I personally do like that as a headcanon explanation for why he's gloating so much. Yeah, I do actually like that explanation. I don't think it's canon, but I absolutely like it. No I think it's a very good, like... I think it's a very good explanation slash headcanon. That because he's got the other aspects of the evils, like, that's why he's, like, a little more prideful and stuff, and gloating. But again, he's also got the wile in him, not so why is he not essence. lying? It's like he's- it's like Asmodan is, like, <laughs> most of his personality at this point. Which is definitely not supposed to be the case. Uh... I think this is just a random event. Like if we were to do public events, this is like a like a side dungeon. Would explain it, but yeah, definitely canon. Yeah, I don't think it's ever been mentioned that that was the case. Yeah, I don't think there's any reason for us to actually be down here. Because there's no active public event here. Nah. I will- I'll- I'll- I'll, I'll defeat this guy just for the loot, though. But yeah, I feel like it would explain some things, but again, like... It's- it wouldn't be con it's not consistent with, like, the other... With the other evils that are supposedly in him. But who knows, maybe at some point we'll get, like, a novel or something that- 
I will retroactively make that cannon. I certainly wouldn't mind that. Hey, the dead one. Hello. Welcome in. Hope you're having a good night. Happy Sunday. If it's Sunday where you are. I know it's 10 p.m. here, so it's probably, like, probably Monday already somewhere. Hello, hello! Little retcon there would be perfectly fine. Yeah, like, there's, like, some, like, retcons for some lore stuff for Diablo 3 that happens in the books. Some of which is definitely uh, appreciated, I guess. Like, a lot of the... A lot of the characterization for Leah and her dy dynamic and relationship with Cain is basically only in the books. Specifically, um, The Order. It was Sunday, now it's 4 a.m. on Monday? I knew it! So yeah, it's Monday for you. You're Not in the future. I hope you're having a good Monday, then. Well, oh, I hear ya. Get, get him! Get more time. Get him, get him, get him! From the future, you are. You already know what Monday's like. I hope it's colder than today. God, it was like, it's been like 90, like, all day. It was horrible. Nine degrees Fahrenheit. It was, oh, it was sweating so much. Let's see, I have a good one now when I wake up. That's another story. Oh. That is not possible. Get him, get him, get him. Oh, you had like nothing. You had like one item. Well, some pants, I guess. I'll take them. But yeah, I hope the rest of your Monday is good then. The the later Monday. The the Monday after you wake up. Because yeah, if you haven't gone to bed yet, it probably still feels like Sunday. Because I know that's how it is for me. Like if it's still, if I haven't gone to bed yet, it still feels like it's like that day. Like it's not the next day until I wake up. <laughs> Another appreciator of good sleep, I approve. Yes, we are very pro-napping and sleeping here. <laughs> A few drinks can change that the next day. Let's see. Ah, I'm so used to going- interesting opponent. I'm so used to going through this in adventure mode that I'm like, oh yeah, I have to like go in these little paths to find these like corrupted growths. Because normally they're just kind of there in adventure mode, but you just ignore them or like get past them to go and do stuff. But here we're actually supposed to find them and destroy them. Weakness consumes you. Me just not being used to the campaign again. Do not drink. <laughs> There's no kids here. Uh, because we're an 18 plus community. Although with no comma there, it kind of looks like the like don't drink kids. Like don't drink liquefied kids. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> the comma just so much. <laughs> Big proponent for the uh, the Oxford comma. <laughs> Punctuation is definitely important. Yes, very different sentence suddenly, but it, re it leads to some some really funny situations though. It's really funny sentences. And some vampires, it's frowned upon to drink it. <laughs> I just picture humans like 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 the juice boxes <laughs> for vampires. Realize that when I hit send, oh no. Age-wise, no kids. Mentality-wise, depends on the dates. <laughs> pay taxes. I can do what I want. It's like I pay taxes. I, 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 I you know, I, I, I do adult things. I can take several days off to play a video game if I want. No one can stop me. It's my right. <laughs> I can spend my vacation how I want. Capri Suns. <laughs> oh. But if it's always Sunday, Diablo 4 will never release. <gasps> well, now we. we grave it's a good argument for letting time continue flowing for sure. At least until Thursday. Then I wouldn't mind if time stopped because then I would be on vacation forever. Capri <laughs> <laughs> it's cursed. The grave beckons. Absolutely cursed. Free now, angel. The priest has three daughters. 
That lent, it's, it's, that lent itself to such a pun, my god. Now following. Thank you for the follow! <laughs> Thank you, dead one! Welcome in! Do you have a nickname you'd like to be called, or is the dead one just fine? <laughs> the Capri Sun pun. God, that, that fits so well. Call me whatever you want. Okie dokie. But that one's probably fine then. Just reading your name. I can remember that easy. Let's see, any more growths down here? No. Explode! A lot of the damage we're doing is definitely because of the, the aura of frailty I've got. Because it executes everything under like. Was it like 25%? You are too late, just as you always have been. Yeah, he's just taunting us. He's so mean. What a meanie. You're never gonna defeat me! <laughs> That's basically like 90% of his dialogue in Act 4. <laughs> I shall call you Tim. <laughs> Let's see. They really do change the like the spawn location for the the Hell Rift bosses for Adventure Mode. They place them like right next to the uh, the entrance. <laughs> I appreciate that in hindsight. I didn't realize that. This world can abide you no longer. Of course you do. Cause yeah, it's been so long since I played the campaign and not Adventure Mode. Who put me cream on the pill? <laughs> Where's that more? There it is. Jim Gillis, the Archangel of Planet, is the greatest warrior in all of creation. He still lost he to Diablo, in though. War and combat, and has led the hosts of heaven to innumerable victories. With Malthael's absence, it is Imperius who now rules over the Angiris Council, seeking mm. always to defend the High Heavens from any foe. See, that's when we find out that Malthale is not here. Aspect of wisdom is absent. You think to destroy the rift, Alchemist? Oh, I pressed Spanks Bar instead of... Ah. Well, that's okay. He was just literally the saying the same exact thing he was saying before. You seek to destroy the Oculus? You'll never do that. <laughs> You'll never defeat me. It's a band I really got into. I should sit down and try again. I don't think I've heard... Hmm. I must have heard at least one Cradle of Filth song. I just don't remember. exceeded my expectations, Nephilim. But there is not a moment to waste. Quickly, you must make your way to the Silver Spire. Like, even Ariel's not really saying much useful, any new information either. Except now it's not, uh, you have to find more Hell Rifts. Now it's you to go to the Silver Spire. But otherwise, there's not really much substance to what she's saying. Which is one of the reasons why I wanted to get as much of the dialogue uh, as I could from after Rakanoth. Because that's like the extent of like most of what her dialogue is, is right there. If you don't talk to her in Ethereal like at that point, there's not really much else you can get them to say. The Hell Rifts are closed, but it is of no matter. Soon there will be nothing left of these high heavens. All creation will be the realm of terror. <laughs> you, you've destroyed my hell rifts, but I'm totally not mad about it. <laughs> How dare you breach the sanctity of heaven? You're so mad. The limbs remind me of the closer from Sound Hill 3. I thought that too! I also thought that, and I have no idea if it's intentional, like a, an intentional reference, or just a coincidence, but I absolutely think that too. Like the way they're designed with the, the big swingy arms. Like not just the same thing with the, uh, what are they called? Was it the Cy the Siams in Silent Hill Homecoming? Kind of the same deal? 
like very, very similar designs. Very similar ways of attacking. The only song I know from them is, uh, Nymphetamine. Can I dig that song? Ooh, I'll look into that one. Because, yeah, I don't think I've heard very many songs from, from Cradle of Filth, but I've definitely heard at least some of them. See, I do like that Ariel shows up and just kind of watches the play instead of helping. Yeah, she just is kind of there. And, like, we know from Heroes of the Storm that she can fight. Like, she can do stuff if she wants, which means she clearly just doesn't want to. <laughs> She's like, nah, this isn't my problem. Nah, you got this. Yeah, Nephilim, you got this. You're fine. You don't need help. Let's see. I have plans to my plans to my plans. I will always be one step ahead. Now excuse me while I go sub uncontrollably. My plans are actually falling apart. <laughs> like the whole time he's like, don't worry. I have I have backup plans for my backup plans. Oh, hey Tyrael. He's just standing there. You could be helping Tyrael. He's just standing there. Just like Ariel, just won't help. Was this in the mushroom head to begin with? Here, we need to. There, now will he talk to us? There we go. He's like, I'm not gonna help you until you finish fighting. She's actually really strong too, just decides to chill and watch though. <laughs> so we're gonna get you hooked on it. <laughs> That's gonna be his fate as much as Oh god. We can't we can't stop Tyriel's poor fate. I don't can we? Tyriel wanted to talk to you about your car's extended warranty. <laughs> He's like, the sword is just for show. I'm just here I'm just here to, to look cool. Tyriel. Yes, my friend. I am ready to again fight by your side. I oh, he's fine now. To give in to despair. You have shown me there is still a chance for victory. But we must hurry. Even now, Diablo makes his way to the Silver Spire. I finally understand. Your kind faces death and darkness every day. Yet still you find the courage to move forward. It is an honor to be one of you. I do, I will say, I do appreciate some of the dialogue that Tyrael has about, like, his perspective on what it means to be human or mortal. Like, there is some good dialogue there. It's just a shame that there's so, so much silliness wrapped around it. Like, the whole... We started Act 4 and Tyrael was like, Hope is is absent. I, I can't go on. And then, like, 20 minutes later, he's like, I'm fine, Nephilim. Let's keep fighting. I'm good. I I, I cried it out. I'm feeling... I'm, I'm better now. Has wrought, if we do not stop him, this is the future of all creation. It's like, I, 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 I got over it. Material, dude, you have no idea. Material, <laughs> you have no idea. It's so hard. It's so hard being human. You don't get it. Damn. You! Your kind does not belong here. If I see you again, you will die. <laughs> okay. He's such a prick. <laughs> He's like, I know you've been like saving our asses this whole time, but fuck you. <laughs> this is your fight, Nephilim. Your power is even greater than Tyrion foresaw. Damn, thanks for talking me up, Ariel. But now, we must stop Diablo before he reaches the crystal arch above us. Yeah, like, we've been saving their asses this whole act, and Imperius just shows up and is like, Fuck you. And then he just leaves. It's like, if I see you again, I'm gonna strangle you myself. <laughs> oh my god, I- wait, Slaughter to Prevail? I thought you- I, th I almost thought you said I Prevail. I love I Prevail. Never heard Slaughter to Prevail, though. Even angels need to- need a good cry. <laughs> I think the implication is that Serial only needed a good cry because he's mortal now and he didn't know how to, like, process his emotion of despair at the moment. Which... R relatable. <laughs> That's why I keep thinking of Dagathur. Nephilim was making me think of Nerevar. Oh, hey, Aether, buddy! 
You know what? That makes sense. I, I, I can see that. Hope you're having a good Sunday. I want this whole game to get through his voice. Just dub over uh, D3 Diablo with, like, <laughs> Tagatha instead. First ban is on, uh, for my country. Slaughter Prevail is great ban. I Prevail is great too. Yeah! Yeah, see, Ariel's got nothing new to say. Neither does this Ethereal. <sighs> We've already heard the extent of their cool dialogue. You will make a fine... You will make a fine meal. Diablo is readying his final blow against the high heavens. A devastating act that would disrupt the balance beyond all remedy. Tyriel and I must find a way to save both of our realms. I do like symphonic metal. Demu... Borgir? I really want to read that as burger. Mmm, burger. Burger. The night embraces you. Bloody heck, I kid just kicked my table. Oh no! <gasps> Though I forsook my home to see it again like this, any joy I might have had is replaced with sorrow. Upwards, we must make it to the summit. Look, it's Leah. Say hi to Leah. I for like the last time, I think. How does it feel, knowing you helped me become the prime evil? For all your mighty deeds, all you really accomplished was unleashing me upon the world. Some savior you are, Nephilim. So that's depressing. So yeah, that's not- obviously that's not really Leah. It's just a- an illusion from an aspect of terror. It is interesting, though. I'm used to having uh, the Enchantress usually I have by this point as a companion following me around. And it's interesting not having her. Because normally at that point, she's uh, the Enchantress goes, Leah, no! And she disappears. Leah's evil now? Nope. She's dead. <laughs> her soul is gone. There you go. I was wondering where you I was like, I didn't kill you. Where you go? Yeah, no, Leah is gone. Her soul was ripped to shreds when Diablo uh, used her body to, like, become the prime evil. She's gone. And, again, I feel like it's weird how not having a companion with you for the rest of this campaign, you don't get that any dialogue related to that. Because your companion, you're, you're not talking back and forth to your companion. And I guess we don't talk with Tyrael about this at all, even though he's right there. So we just kind of don't react when we see her. Which is... interesting. Yeah, when Diablo Zeno morphed her. That's- that- that- that's kind of- yeah, kind of. That's kind of a way to put that. Stupid table, who put it there? Oh wait, it was me. It, it was my fault. Do not fear the end. Just realized Alan Wake 2 is coming up. We might get some new music from them. Climbing the spire to the crystal arch. We must hurry. I'm so excited for Alan Wake 2. And yes, we're absolutely going to get some Poets of the Fall. I'm so excited. Oh! This is Hadric's wife from the beginning of the game. Remember when we had to uh, help him kill his wife? And, and then he helped us get uh, Leowork's crown. All the way from Act 1. How could you convince my own husband? It's like preying on our guilt and our fears and stuff. Aspect of lies. Belial's assassin. So yeah, I guess because he's the prime evil, like all the like generals and lieutenants and stuff for the other evils can show up. So you're like, eh, he's the prime evil. It's like the same thing. Our, our boss is in there somewhere. Kirill just learned about feelings. Gotta give him a break. That's true. We we can catch it. We can we, you can give a little bit of a break for that. It's his first time. It's his first time processing things, like feelings. Striding through these halls in all their majesty, we thought ourselves the masters of all creation. Our arrogance was our downfall. Yeah, see, he's clearly still processing stuff. Remember when we had to kill this guy's wife? Ah, oh, sweet memories. 
<laughs> it's like, oh yeah, I remember, I killed you. <laughs> I'm afraid not. It's like, yeah, that was kind of sad, wasn't it? Anyway, time to kill you again, I guess. Or at least whatever barrage of you this is. Almost, almost. My insight oh. grows. I love how I... <laughs> it looks like I still have, like, more of ways to kill them, but then my aura of frailty just makes them go bleh when their health is, like, a quarter of the way done. I'm gonna kill her twice as hard in the next playthrough because of this. How dare you guilt trip us! <laughs> Do not fear the it's end. like, how dare? I was just following orders. I was just doing what the objective told me to do. And also what Hadrid was telling us to do. Oh, I was... This will be a challenge. Almost forgot. So yeah, these areas of the Silver Spire, probably the most, like, hellish and dark that this, like, the rest of this campaign gets. Which again, is still not really, like, dark fantasy, I'd say. I'd still, it's pretty, it's still pretty solidly in, like, high fantasy. Let's see. What about four man? Fifty-seven. We might. We might actually hit max level, like in Act Five. I might have actually paced this so that we're leveling, like, at a reasonable-ish pace. Because yeah, if I really wanted to, I could like bump up the torment level and use my Paragon levels, and we would be in like torment sixteen or some shit. I'm so glad that the headband pin redeem has been working. <laughs> what a relief! And I've got like a whole list too from uh from the sub channel on Discord, uh from people suggesting like new uh new pins to add. A whole list. I don't know when I'm gonna be able to get to making those pins though, because I'm still trying to finish my outfit for for Thursday, which also probably won't be entirely complete, but it'll be good enough. Like I can always like continue polishing it and stuff over time. I just need to be basically good enough. Much like most of the things that I use on stream. <laughs> it just has to be good enough. It just needs to be. I can't be- I can't get distracted with making things perfect, or else I'll never finish anything, ever. You know? The fountains of heaven flowed with the energy of the crystal arch. But now look at that. <laughs> Big mood, yeah. Like, it doesn't need to be perfect, it just needs to be. That's what I keep telling myself. I heard that line in the movie Encanto, and I took that to heart. Mm. Also, hey, Skura! Did I say hi earlier? I feel like I didn't. I feel like you just kind of melded into chat, and that, it was like, Skura's always been here. Skura is a turtle. So I think I didn't. I, for, I think I forgot to say hi. <laughs> no. Oop. I'm almost done with this water. I've got more in the fridge. A little stretch. There we go. But yeah, whatever, I feel like whenever I'm like too, get, getting really focused and stuff, I, I start to not notice when people like sneak in the chat. <laughs> I have to say I'm simply one with the chat box. You're simply, you're simply, a, yeah, you're you're one with the chat. It's like how could it be chat without Skura? I hope you're having a great night, great Sunday, great weekend. And yeah, so uh, I re I remember I was talking about my schedule early and I didn't finish. Uh, but yeah, so after tonight, we'll do Act 5 tomorrow, since I have tomorrow off from work. And then there won't be any any streams until Thursday. So a bit of a weird schedule this week. So but definitely make sure you've got like notifications and stuff on, on like Discord and stuff to make sure you know when I go live. Um, like after Thursday and stuff, because it'll be a very weird loose schedule after that. To be fair, we are very sneaky. <laughs> Sneaky, sneaky. Hmm. 
Let's see. Have I looked in the map? I, I don't think I've looked in the map for a little bit. Yeah, we're about halfway, I think. Maybe a little more than halfway. It's always hard to tell with Act 4, because I feel like Act 4 in, like, every game is, like... Well, there's only two that there's an Act 4 in. But I feel like they're all, like, kind of relatively short-feeling. And Diablo 2, it's obvious why, because it's, like... They only got three quests. They planned four and then cut one. Act four, I think the, the big problem is just the pacing of it. There's a lot of... Oh, why was that stutter? But yeah, the pacing for Act four is a little weird. There's a lot of just, like, traversing, like, the same three or four environments for, like, way too long to get from point A to point B. Also, care packages, care you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Especially, it's so freaking hot. So definitely, staying nice and hydrated is a very good thing. Because I'm sweating. Also, the way you can replay RE1 with plenty of time. Oh yeah, I still need to do that too. Yeah, I've got plenty of time to, to rerun through that at least. Because yeah, I definitely got myself into like a soft lock situation. I could probably have figured out how to get past the snake eventually, but... It would probably have taken way too long on stream for sure, and I would be in a really bad spot afterward anyway. So if I were like playing offline, I definitely would have just restarted to try and get like more healing items and stuff for the late game. Hey Nightmare! Hello! How are you doing? Happy Sunday! Hope you're having a good night and had a good weekend. You have little priorities. <laughs> Speaking of, se uh, of settling with less than perfection, one piece of advice I always take to heart is compare yourself to your past self and realizing the progress you've made. So compare yourself to other people. That's a very good advice. Absolutely. Hey, Nightmare. Thank you for the follow. Diablo knows the spire is the heart of the high heavens. The subtitles keep disappearing. Thank you so much for the follow, Nightmare. Hope you're having a good night. But yeah, Starbreeze, that's a, a very good advice. I, I agree. You know, look how far you've... <gasps> Ooh! It's like, look how far you've come compared to, like, uh... Like, where you were even, like, a few months ago. Ooh. Alright. Yeah, I, I, I'll, I'll take that. It'll, it won't boost our experience like, too much, I don't think. But yeah, I try. I try not to compare myself to others. It's it. I know it's hard, but I, I try not to. Just because it's like it's so easy to like compare yourself to people who have been like at this like way longer. <laughs> Spoilers, Diablo. I haven't even gotten across the bridge yet. Well, he spoiled it, but yes, Tyrael's old lieutenant. It is Wall. We remember him from Diablo 2. And he's back. Just cuz. <laughs> Time to kick his ass again. He kind of has similar mechanics. He's still got like his frost attacks and stuff. <laughs> Remembers a strong word. <laughs> Like how could we forget the guy that <laughs> that, that duped Tyrael into giving the into giving the soul stones to the Haradrim? It's like Tyrael falling for Iswal's lies. Basically kickstarted the events of all the games. And it, it's very casually dropped too. He does look really cool though. But yeah, I guess the implication is that uh, Iswal is, like, permanently uh, corrupted. Because even though we killed him and freed his spirit at the end of uh, his quest in the second game, he's very much still a demon here. Do you hope to play Diablo? Yes. Ex yes, absolutely. 100% on Thursday. Because I have early access. So, uh, Thursday at 6.30pm, I'm gonna go live, and then... The game goes live at 7 p.m. for me. So I'll go live at 6.30, we'll chit-chat a little bit, I'll get into queue. I assume there's gonna be queue times, but 
So I'll have like something for us to do while we wait. But if there isn't, I mean, we'll just get right into it. Didn't even finish reading the comment. <laughs> I didn't need to. But yes, I'll absolutely be playing. If the servers don't die first, I don't, I'm feeling kind of confident about the state of the servers actually, especially with early access. Because there's going to be way fewer people for early access starting out. Like before the main release. So I feel like there's not going to... I feel like there isn't going to be much server load actually. And during the uh, the server slam, I didn't, I didn't have any queue times. The entire server slam. You failed again, Tilly. The corruption cannot be stopped. You can't stop me. <laughs> I'll be with on there with you before I go to work. Yay! And yeah, I'll set up the clan and everything so that like when we do uh like world events and stuff, we, uh it'll be easy for us to like LFG. And then after even after I beat the campaign, um like, World of Boss events and stuff, I'll probably do on stream if they're, like, still at the same times as they were during the beta, which was, like, midnight on, like, Saturdays. Woo! The cold hand of death reaches out for you, hero. Moo. <laughs> Should we just moo in response? Is that a cow? Yeah, we have the, the moo machine. It plays a random moo from the Diablo 2 secret cow level. <laughs> So if you hear random moves, that's what that is. But also our companion pet is also a cow. So there's cows everywhere. Yes, it is a cow following me around. It's the royal calf. The the lore behind him is that during <laughs> during the 20 year anniversary event, the darkening of Tristram, when we go back in time to experience the events of Diablo 1. Oh, Second. Of I often came to this great span to meditate on things as I looked out over the silver city. The view used to calm me. Now I find it does the opposite. Yeah, gee, I wonder why. <laughs> but uh but yeah, the lore for the little the royal cap is that we went back in time to experience the, the events of Diablo 1, and we took this cow with us as a souvenir? And I guess by kidnapping this prince, we pissed off the cows in that area, and that's how they became the cows with axes from the secret cow level in 2. <laughs> Love that silly little lore snippet, just for having a pet cow follow us around. <laughs> Let's see. Can never have enough moves. Never. Never enough moves. My bag is full. Oh, it is. Well. Let's go, go dump out everything into the trash compactor, then. The cold hand of death reaches out for you. How convenient. Is it offering more bones? <laughs> Let's see. So the character of D3 Hello? is the cause of the Great Cow Uprising in Tristram? Yes. That is canonically the- <laughs> That is canonically the reason why. <laughs> Thanks to that event, basically, explaining that, yeah. The Lord Tiblet- Tiblet? <laughs> That lore tidbit is amazing. Yes. Oh, greeting, stranger. oh, PL Prio is now following. Thank you for the follow. PL Prio? Is that how you pronounce your name? I know the TTS spot can get things wrong sometimes. So let me know. Welcome in. It was your fault. Dang it, Lucy. This one we can't have nice things. <laughs> That's fine. It's fine. I mean, we can't have nice things like cows that don't try to kill us, but we do have a little cow companion to follow us around. You know, that's a nice thing. Right? That's a that's a nice trade-off, maybe. Reason why Tristan was not destroyed by demons, but by vengeful cows. <laughs> Pill? Okay. Hello, hello, Pill. Welcome in. Thank you for the follow. Hope you're having a good night. Let's see. Anything I want to replace? Hmm. Ooh. Hmm. No. Hmm. No. Increased bone spear damage? Yes. Even though the helmet I was wearing looks cooler. I'll toss that. Here, but I can actually... I can actually fix that. 
because we've got we've got the mystic over here, so I can make myself look cool. You can see I've got all these all the <laughs> all these unlocked. So we could look even cooler because I have all these like legendary and set item transmogs, but we'll do basic items because I feel like it, it's kind of cheating with our supposedly new character. See, oh, I even got... See, you get this as a reward for completing that Darkening of Trishim event. You get the uh, the Red Soul Shard transmog. See? So it looks like you plunge the soul stone into your head. It looks so cool. It's like one of my favorites. But I'll, I'll just do that one. <laughs> oh, I see that care package. Thank you, thank you. I'll finish off this water. And a little stretch. I would argue that angry cows are a nice thing we can have. <laughs> True, I mean, we got the secret cow level. I think that's a pretty nice thing. That's a pretty nice thing to have. Pretty cool. Man, there's there's actually a lot of lore with, like, the... Uh, what would I call them? Merchants? Oh, artisans. Uh, like, Covetous Shen. There's, like, so much lore about him being, like... Is that spoilers to talk? If you ever play this, there's a lot of lore with them. In Covetous Shen, there's a lot of theories about him specifically. What does he have to say about this? I know what I fear. For long years, I fear the Jewel of Durgis would fall into the wrong hands. That its evil would be unleashed upon our world. But in the sight of this... In the sight of all this destruction, I can hardly look or even think upon a jewel. Even one as terrible as Durgis. You must save us. He's still talking about some jewel, but you have to be like paying attention to like his dialogue consistently and know what the hell he's talking about. <laughs> and how, let's see. I think if you play D1 with Beelzebub mod, they add a quest that was cut from the original game in which you fight Iswal? Really? There was an Iswal quest in the first game? I know there's a few quests that were cut. I don't know that was one of them. I'm sure there's an innuendo in there somewhere. <laughs> Finish up that water, go get more. I probably should. We're at the end of this game, right? I think spoiler talk is fair. That, mm, I guess. I guess that's true. Plus, it's not, like, confirmed either. But there's, like, theories that, like, Covetous Shed is, like, some sort of, like, like, demigod being? There's, like, a lot to unpack there. <laughs> there's, like, a lot there. Same thing with the uh, with the follower companions too, but I think I said before that their their side quests don't even get wrapped up in the base game. They get kind of explained in uh, explained more in uh, Reaper of Souls is where you're gonna get their re their resolutions. But it's so easy to like miss a lot of that stuff, and it, a lot of it doesn't really contribute a whole lot. Take a quick look at hydration. Fine, I'll go get water. It has been a couple hours. Here, I'll, I'll get up for a second just to go grab some water and stretch real quick. I'm back. I'm back. I'm sat down. I got water. Blew my nose. I can breathe. We're good. Claim my water prize. It has been claimed. Hey, Lucid. Eat Lucid? I'm not gonna eat right now. May or may not be a mon here, but I still gotta take care of the Lucid Tamagotchi. <laughs> I mean, it's true. Streamers are absolutely Tamagotchis. 
According to Game Rant, a surprising amount of quests in Diablo was cut before the game released. Two of the most noteworthy removals are a quest to slay Iswal and another quest that tasks players to kill the Demon Queen and Dariel. Both of these enemies would appear in Diablo 2. I didn't even know that. I love that shit. Thank you. I love learning new things. Oh, that's so exciting. Here, now I'll finish off the rest of that one original water bottle. You can breathe, lucky. Under some circumstances. Weirdly enough, I find that when I'm laying... So I, I like to sleep on my side a lot. For some reason, I can... When I'm on my right side, my nose unclogs and I can suddenly breathe. If I sleep on my left side, my nose clo suddenly closes and I can't breathe through my nose. I don't know why. What does that mean? Is it broken? <laughs> is that normal? It's it like, yes, this is my now. breathing side. I only hope we are not too late. I can feel Diablo's corruption closing around the light of heaven. See, so look, everything's just red now. That makes it scarier, right? That it's just a red haze underneath. Bodies are fucked up. <laughs> Might be a deviated septum? Hmm. Maybe. I hadn't considered that. How would I- what would, what would be some other symptoms of that that I could tell? We have the best community? Yeah, I, I love- I love all of y'all. I love- I love our little community. Let's see, sometimes I get a headache, then I realize I forgot to breathe for a while. Definitely don't do that. Don't- Yeah, make sure you breathe. Breathing is good, but also- Fuck, I, you're, you're probably all manually breathing now, and I'm sorry about that. <laughs> oh. Hey, son! Happy Sunday! Oh, Captain Rumford from... Tristram! We haven't seen him since Act 1 either. He was the guy at the front gates. I always manually breathe. That's so weird to think about. Seeing an Ian... Ian... T no, you're, you're talking about an Ent, right? Like the big trees? Seeing an Ent would tell for sure. I think the problem... Is that depends on the severity? No, you mean like an ENT, right? Ear, nose, throat doctor. Oh, okay. I was thinking an ENT, like, from Lord of the Rings. That, that's fine. <laughs> hey, Rump, what do you have to say? A hero, but your actions are driven by petty greed, contempt, and bloodlust. You couldn't even save me. <laughs> My first thought was you were happy, happy death. God damn it. <laughs> I gotta see the weird tree about about my breathing issues. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, let me scroll up for a second. <laughs> oh, god, I can't believe I did that. It's fine. I'm fine. Everything's fine. Yeah, have happy Sunday. <laughs> It's fine. I have Lord of the Rings on the brain because the whole Gollum release. Oh my god. Have y'all seen the Gollum game? I posted about it a little bit on Discord, but it's... Oh man. I feel kind of bad for the devs for that game. Because they are getting eviscerated. And I, I feel kind of bad about that. But also the game is so hilariously bad. My <laughs> Gollum reaction. I love those. <laughs> I just had to add them to the Discord when I saw them. They were just so fucking funny. Legit laughed out loud. I'm glad I could be so entertaining, even if unintentionally. <laughs> Visibly golemed. Aw, oh, man. I appreciate good Lord of the Rings memes, so I'm very glad that they were getting a, a bunch of them, even if a lot of them are at a poor, poor little game's expense. But also, they wanted to charge, like, Three dollars for lore accurate elvish uh, voice acting, so fuck them. Yeah, that, that that that's still ridiculous to me. They were charging extra, not just for like lore accurate voice acting, but also for like a lore codex at all. And then the one that what that you get if you buy the like pack, I think I forget how much it is, but if you buy the like lore codex pack. It's like so poorly implemented, it, it like feels last minute and tacked on. But they charge you extra money for it. Just ugh, ridiculous. I don't know who came up with that. 
whoever it was, just no. Please never again. Yeah, and six emotes. You gotta pay extra to hear Gollum go, my precious. Why can I never make one portion of pasta? I always make too much. It's like the... Uh, Weakness consumes it's so you. true, though. Whenever I, like, cook anything, it's like, no, you have to make, like, multiple portions. Hey, Jumbo Scorpion! Lobster-headed demon? These guys? The Mallet Lords? I guess it kind of is, like... I, I, I don't know, it kind of reminds me more of a Xenomorph. How are you doing, Scorpions? Hope you're having a good night. The Golem game, it looks so amazing. See, you heard Xbox 360 graphics and incredible voice acting. Yeah, Xbox 360 graphics, yet demands a, a 480 Ti. <laughs> uh, ridiculous. Ooh, you got a bunch of people with that one. Remember finding it funny knew how lobster just tastes like big prawn? I've, I've heard, I've heard conspiracy theories that seafood doesn't actually taste good. That like lobster and stuff actually tastes terrible, and that the only reason we eat them is because we smother them in butter. Interesting opponent. And like, I don't know if I completely buy that. I like the taste of seafood. Like, even if it's not like dipped in butter. All must serve the cycle. But I definitely know people that like generally hate seafood. I don't know. Maybe it's a conspiracy I could believe for some people. That's just cope from people who don't know. <laughs> <laughs> the underscore matches is now following. Oh, welcome to, thank you for the follow of the matches. You just prefer being called matches? Thank you for the follow. Welcome in. Hope you're having a good Sunday. Howdy, howdy. If it's still Sunday where you are, because it might be Monday. Because it's a, it's Monday uh, where some of us are. Put it in Laska, stir fried with rice to a Japanese style. Ooh. Lobster was supposed to be junk food. Nobody wants to eat it before. Now it's a high-class food. Yeah, lobster used to be considered, like, the trash of the sea. Like, it was fed to prisoners in the late 1800s. That's how, like, commonplace it was and how, like, not w w how well-regarded it was as food. But then I think it was a combination of it being, like, scarce in the, like, uh, non-coastal areas. Uh, combined with, like, a few other things, and then it became, like, more of a rare delicacy later. One of those just weird things. Prawn is still food that broke people can eat? Oh yeah. You can get whole bins of prawn. Snow crab lakes too? God. My favorite thing about going to like Chinese buffet restaurants and stuff when I lived in Maine was like the endless snow crab legs. Oh my god. I would eat so many crab legs. I got very efficient at getting through the shells and stuff. There we go. Is it anything good? Mm -hmm. yeah, use these boots. I'll take the boots. Also, I feel like I'm missing like the lore archive thingies. But I don't remember what all the locations are. Three shrimp, snow crab legs, and lobster all taste great. Oh, I love shrimp as well. And I feel like they have like distinct flavors even without butter. The butter just makes them even better. So many new people today, welcome in. Yeah, welcome in, everybody. Let's see. Crab disappoint me because you buy what looks like a big meal and it's all shell. See, that's why I like snow crabs. Because snow crabs have a really decent ratio of, like, meat to shell. I feel like it's different. Oh, there's a repository. There it was. I knew Inaris long ago. Oh. When he was still among the angels. This is going to be really he relevant for Diablo 4. Of battling the demons after a time. And he began to secretly conspire with demons in order to forge a peace. The demoness Lilith became his greatest ally in the Hells, and many other demons and angels joined his cause. Yeah, see? Oh, and if you want to catch up on the lore for Diablo 4, they have like a, a bunch of uh, videos they've been releasing from the Book of Lorath on their YouTube. Actually, really decent, like, lore summaries. And the narration is oh, so good. Is shrimp different than prawn? They're kind of... They're kind of similar. Prawn are basically like big shrimps. Boiled crab is so good. It's been a long time since I've had boiled, like, just, like straight up boiled crab. Basically only... 
I think the last time was last time I visited Maryland. Because that's like their thing. Like giant buckets of crab. That's like the Maryland meal. It's like if you go there, you absolutely have to have like a bucket of crabs and uh, some old base seasoning. That's like that's like the thing. <laughs> write that down, write that down. <laughs> Holly enough is someone that lives on, as my American partner calls it, a tiny island. I don't really like seafood. I mean, it's not for everyone, for sure. You can say that about anything and take it as far as you want. You don't really like this food, it's just because you cook it. You only really like it if you eat it raw. God. There's some people that genuinely think that about steak. And I'm like, nah, nah, you gotta season it. You gotta season the steak. You can't just, you can't just not do that. I, like, people that just season with, like, only salt, I'm like, no, no. You've got a whole world of spices. You gotta use more than just salt. I'm, I'm opening up my new water. There we go. Curiously takes notes. <laughs> you wanna ask Google Lasa Prawn? You'd see why I believe in prawn being valid. Prawn's absolutely valid. Food that fights back is the best food. <laughs> it definitely feels really satisfying when you. I'm stretching. When you're eating like a like a pound of crab legs, and you work through all the shell to get to the food, it does feel kind of satisfying. Like I worked for this. Wait, are we here already? Are we really here already? Never. <laughs> I see you did not heed my warning. Or perhaps you think yourself strong enough to fix me. It was at this moment that I he knew to kill he fucked up. <laughs> Do not waste my time. Imperius, stop this madness. Thank you for that. Diablo is the enemy here, not <laughs> the, the Nephilim. <laughs> Tyrion, I will deal with you soon enough. <laughs> Imperius is such an I ass. What is this? No! Diablo has reached the arch! Yeah, he fucked up alright. Lucy Bobs, hello! Dungeon Dragon Devil Ray! Thank you for the raid! Welcome, Raiders! Hi, Belfie, hello! Lucy Bobs raided my stream with 18 views. Oh my god, what were you up to? What were you, what were you streaming? We stand together as mortals. Thank you so much for the Diablo's raid! Vile corruption bars our we're we're right in the middle of a, a, a cutscene. We're about to Eldrew be at the end of the Act 4. The Thank you so much! Here, let me do the, the shout out. What were you playing? What were you up to? Thank you for the raid! Welcome in, raiders! Let's see. Let me scroll up. Dungeon Dragon. Were you playing Darkest Dungeon or Dungeons and Dragons? Because I assume it's something to do with dungeons. It's one of the perfect times to do something. You prepare. Maybe he's arguing about heaven politics. We should be sitting with the angel. Yeah, Imperius being all distracted, dealing with us, and now look at him. That's what you get. <laughs> That's when he knew he fucked up. Indeed. Oh, you were playing D&D? What, what kind of adventures were you up to? Tell me, tell, tell us about them. What kind of cool stuff were you up to in Veteran? We were just all, we were also talking about like food and stuff in chat. <laughs> talking about like seafood. Ah, some spices and herbs mixed with butter and oil. Oh my god. This will make me so hungry. Persona flavored. Ooh, so like a D&D &D persona crossover type campaign? That sounds interesting. What kind of what kind of stuff were you were were you off to, or was it like a like a session zero type thing? Some weird uh, when you continue to give to eat bugs, because they're sea bugs. Yeah, I I don't mind the sea bugs. Besides, it's more like uh, isn't it more sustainable to farm like probably not sea bugs so much, but even like regular bugs. Sixty percent chance the Flucid's chest talking about food. <laughs> At any given point, not honestly true. The gate has been opened, Nephilim. We got this here a lot faster than I was expecting. <laughs> actually, it's Thank almost you. 11, so maybe we're not. Maybe we're actually kind of it on time. Honor, but this is the moment you were made for. This is the hour of mankind's victory. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, we got all this lore unlocked. 
Including talking about Leah's spirit. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. Ma ma massive spoilers, because this is the end of uh, Act 4 for Diablo 3, if anyone cares about that. Because this is like a decade-old game at this point. God, that's wild to think about. Yep, yep, we're getting into dangerous spicy territory. Wrapped up in the first arc, ready to fight Spoopy Heart. Ooh, Spoopy Arc? Are there gonna be, like, ghosts and skeletons and stuff? We're very hungry dream beans. Yeah, we're very pro-napping, sleeping, eating food. <laughs> you know, the good things in life. Just need to cook everything in delicious- No! That conversation happened back- all the way back in Alan Wake. Like, a year ago, and still the joke carries on. <laughs> it's great, gaming's great, very pleasing topics. It's true, they very topics that go very well together. I want to read Carl Jung's The Red Book. He talks about a spiritual journey in that game psychology ideas. See why Persona and SMT draw so much influence from it. Do they openly draw a lot of influence from them? That is interesting, if true. Because I actually haven't played... I actually have not played any Persona games like myself. I watched a friend play a little bit of Persona... Which is the one with Chie? Is that 3 or 4? Because I saw I saw a little bit of gameplay from that when I watched my friend play. Be fair, the candle eating candle. <laughs> Start it! No, not the candle! Not the candle! Chie is 4? Okay, so I watched my friend play a little bit of 4. So that's probably the like extent of persona that I've seen is like uh like chunks of, of four. Like about maybe like a, a couple hours of it. It does look really interesting. I wanna play I wanna play like from the beginning though. I wanna be like when I when I eventually dive into it, I wanna get like really into it, like lore wise and stuff. Even though I know that they're like disconnected stories. Speaking of lore and stuff. I need to know more about the Crystal Arch. It is older than time itself, and over the eons, this shining realm took shape around it. Take a it quick drink. It with living light and sound that courses through the very fabric of the Silver City. The angels themselves are born from it. Yes, like musical notes in a grand chorus. Angels are the manifestation of the Arch's intrinsic harmony. The purest expressions of this harmony were my brethren. The Archangels. This harmony seems to have been lost. Yes, but hope mm. has returned. And as you mortals are fond of saying, it is not over yet. <laughs> yeah, it's like, I need to know more about the Crystal Arch. We'll be prepared to take notes. <laughs> Drinking grass and eating candles? No! <laughs> to be honest, if you don't like one, then you should skip to three. That's what I've been told. I've been told that, like, the, like, Persona proper games start, like, at 3. Like, that's where they've got, like, their groove. You're playing games in chronological order feeds my compulsions. <laughs> Persona name drops uh, Jungian terms and franchise literally is named after one of them. That's That, that seems pretty definitive. Mono Persona starts at 3. Yeah, yeah, that's what I've heard. Funnily enough, I've also heard the same thing about Devil May Cry, that they really got into their groove in 3. Yeah, thing he did mention about the Crystal Arch is that it's literally a spine. Oh, thank you for the hydrate. Because basically, uh, then they, exp they, they explain the stuff in like the Book of Lorath, oh. uh, the Book of Lorath lore videos and stuff. That, um, basically at the beginning of the universe, and I, I explained this before as well, at the beginning of the universe, there was just the one being Anu, the dragon, and then he split himself in half, and his evilness was put in Tathomet, which eventually, uh, when they fought to each other to the death, the the corpse of Tathomet became the he the the burning hells, and its heads became the greater and the prime and lesser evils, and then Anu, his spine became the Crystal Arch, and from that arch, the archangels were born. So. The, the, the crystal arch is a spine. <laughs> See, I've heard one and two are good but different, but my sources also also had many hot hot game takes. Yeah, I've heard I've heard people have very mixed opinions about the first two personas. Thank you, thank you. Now I'll do a quick little stretch. But yeah, I'm I'm still curious about them though. 
Plus playing the bad ones in any game series gives one perspective. I, I actually really agree. I like seeing... I like seeing them in chronological order or re release release order. Because you can see, like, when they hit their low points, if they're able to, like, get out of them with, like, future games. It's interesting. I fear that if we defeat Diablo, Leah's innocent spirit will die with him. It is likely that she is already lost, though that may be hard to accept. That's And that's, like, the last... <laughs> Leah might be dead. Yep. Which of the angels voted to destroy humanity? I want to put them on a list. Malfail abstained, but it was counted against you. Malfail? Who was he? He was wisdom itself, until his disappearance. The Angiris Council has been broken ever since. Hmm. Interesting, interesting. Do you know why Malfail disappeared? Long ago, when Anarius and his ilk stole the World Stone to create Sanctuary, Malfiel became consumed with discovering its whereabouts. As the Archangel of Wisdom, he was tortured by his inability to recover the sacred artifact. Have there been any clues about his whereabouts? Some say he haunts the silent halls of Pandemonium, forever seeking answers to the unknowable mysteries of life and death. Hmm. All very foreshadowy. I don't know if I dare play Persona 1. Is that- is it that weird? You know- oh god. Nya- Nyalarhotep. I definitely pronounced that wrong. Of Lovecraft lore? Probably not. I'm not as familiar with, like, deep Lovecraft lore outside of, like, it being referenced in other media. <laughs> when wisdom is lost, past games. The game didn't do well, but these- but three people love it, and we managed to make 5,000 packs, so let's do a sequel. <laughs> Modern game doesn't set records with pre-sales. Failed series. Bin it. It's so sad that it, that is so true. I hate that. I hate how true that is. Playing bad games gives you the experience to understand what worked and what went wrong in any game series. Yeah, like, I don't regret my time playing Devil May Cry 2. And a lot of people recommended I not play it, and it was very an experience. All the Atlas games of that era. I think it was gonna play Persona. I play one and two mostly because you don't play as a kid. Really? I didn't even know that. I won't count that as a spoiler. Describing something I found cool from Persona 1, that's why I said I don't know if I dare play it though. Also, I'm, I'm sorry we're not like doing this fight. I want to do the, the lore and stuff and we're ahead of schedule anyway. What is the prime evil? So, I don't know how long this fight's gonna be. All seven evil housed within one body. There is an ancient legend, known only to a few, of the great dragon Tathomet, who was the original embodiment of evil. The legend says that he was ripped apart during an epic battle with Anu, I'm and that the burning this too. are composed of his remains. Anu. Just as Tathomet was the ultimate evil, <laughs> Anu was the ultimate good. It is said by some, that the Crystal Arch is all that remains of this great warrior. Then evil has been reborn in its purest form. See, he doesn't mention that it's a in spine, though. Speaking, I think that's cool. Yes. I think the part about it being a spine is neat, and he doesn't need to like, say that, so I'm glad I still mentioned it anyway. Alright. Let's do this. It's time for the climax. To the pinnacle of heaven. There he is. Not even death can save seven. Oh my God. Are one within me. The contrast. I am legion. <laughs> the contrast of his original line. Thank you for that, Sarah. Thank you for the 500 bits. <laughs> The contrast of his original Diablo 2 intro versus that. Amazing. But yeah, the, our, our, he's reached peak Saturday morning cartoon villain levels at this point. Oh shit, it's him! It's the guy! But look how tall! And, and with the, the more feminine form, with the being at, from Leah, 
it's kind of what like heels going on. But he's so tall. But he's still not immune to being frozen, which is really funny to me. Like I can still freeze you with skeletons so easily. Like it doesn't really seem quite fair. <laughs> But still a lot of the same classic attacks from 2, including the Bone Prison. Bone Prison and Fire Nova, Fire Lightning. Reminds me of how the final boss of Digimon World 1 isn't, isn't immune to poison and literally, <laughs> and literally kill it by stalling. That's great. Why is skelly, skelly switching formation for no reason? Uh, when I use their ability, I make them uh, do their ability where they freeze them. Remember D2 after the third run, everything ever <laughs> immune everything. Uh, everything, it, yeah, everything's immune to everything once you get past like normal difficulty too. Diablo, yeah, that, that's that's kind of what uh, fans refer to this version of Diablo, Diablo. Just as like a, a differentiation. That and just primeval Diablo. But yeah, you can see it's kinda hard to tell from this distance, but you can see like the heads on on, on the shoulders. See it on that one too. Here I can I after after this uh after this act, I can show uh show the heroes of the storm quotes from Primeval Diablo. But I really want to show the talking heads. <laughs> He's kinda dinosaur like. Of course you do. Of course you do. Drums, what? <laughs> the headphones connected to the shoulder bones. He's so distracted by my skeletons. He's not really much of a threat to me. Let us see how you fare in my realm of terror. Terror. Well, that sounds like a challenge. I actually had a, a statue of uh, Shadow of Diablo for a while. How that was like a foot tall. Fear, How taste your fear. Like, Pringles. Remember when you fight Diablo at the end of Sound of Origins? <laughs> I do remember that. I actually did like the... the I actually did like the, the design for that final boss in Origins. Let's see, you may have to disable sound effects for when you play Diablo 4 because it will actually reach every intense and dramatic moment. I mean, hold on. I can pause to show you. <laughs> it is very bad in 3 as well. Look at this. This is how the I had to mix the audio for anything to be fucking audible in this game. <laughs> So, no, I'm well aware. <laughs> I'm well aware I'm gonna have to do the same thing for four. How will you cope with my I'll realm of terror? Fear, How chase my fear? I think it was on the nose that you fight Baphomet in Silent Hill 1. Oh, you mean like a uh, Incubus? pretty on the nose, but I think it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Can you feel your death approaching? It's like, I feel like they make him talk too much. Like, in 2, he just has, like, the one intro, and then that's it. And I feel like How it's more intimidating so that way. Weird. Like, it's more intimidating that way than him repeating the same line over and over. That is not possible. Silent Hill 2's final boss is pretty cool. Some idiots are like, <laughs> it should be the final boss. It's like, no, Pyramid Head should not be the final boss of 2. Because that's like, that misses the point. Can you feel your death approaching? 
course you do. He talks too much, you're right, he sounds like Free Walker. <laughs> He's too- he talks too much. He's like a- again, like a Saturday morning cartoon villain. He told us his plan this entire time. You shall never wake from this nightmare. And he's like, you'll never defeat me. <laughs> and then we're totally gonna defeat him. It just seems kind of silly. He seemed more... Subtle and devious in the- in- the first game and the second game. I'm afraid not. And now I'm afraid not. <laughs> like it almost felt like us fighting him was also like in two. It almost felt like fighting him was part of it. Like fighting him and even being being able to defeat him was almost a part of his plan because he was only stalling us so that Bale could fulfill his plans. But then, like, compared to this, like, this is his plan. And yet he's being so arrogant about it. I do think the, the headcanon about Asmodan influencing him is more plausible. Just because it's such a different characterization. Final boss of Sanity is obviously the fuck. I love Mira. Oh, I think my aura of frailty got him. No, this wretched light must be eradicated. Smash. All that you have known, all that you have ever loved, shall die along with you, Nephilim. Hmm. Smash. There we go. Let's see. Did you play Borderlands? I've played a little bit when I've been persuaded to for like co-op, but I've not like beaten or played like too much of any of them. Which I know, I probably sh it's a game that I would enjoy because it's like it's a looter shooter. But like, I don't really like the comedy that much. <clears throat> or just specifically, I don't really like Randy Pritchford's uh, comedic style all that much. And his his com his sense of humor heavily influences those games, for better or for worse. Have you seen this the RE streams recently? How far are you? <laughs> Funny you say that. <laughs> uh, we got as far as uh, the piano snake fight, but then I realized I soft locked myself because I have no healing items. So I'm probably gonna uh, replay up to that point off stream. So that I can have more healing items by that point. Now that I know what I'm doing. <laughs> Speaking of cough drops, fuck. I don't know why that my brain decided that Diablo's voice was actually the voice of Rockstar Freddy. <laughs> I actually don't know who does uh, who does Diablo's voice in three. I know Bill Roper did in one and two. But I don't remember who does it in 3. Because it, it, it's almost certainly not Bill Roper again, because the, uh, Bill Roper was in uh, the original Blizzard North team. Borderlands is fun with co-op or is a mindless podcast team? Yeah, it's fun as co-op. That's the only, literally the only reason why I played it. <laughs> was for the co-op. Lots of chill sandwiches. I love Mill Gear Solid and protagonist. Ooh, this is so much random in Piano Snake! <laughs> See, now when we eventually play Metal Gear, I'm gonna remember that, and we're gonna accidentally call him Piano Snake at least once. Because I do want to play the Metal Gear games at some point. Especially with, like, they re released the. Look at this beautiful firelight and. Anyway, so especially since they're like re-releasing them, uh, like the whole collection, right? On PS PS5. Assuming they still, you know, they're still there on PlayStation 5 when I eventually get one. I wonder if my aura of frailty works on him. It does. <laughs> That's why that whole chunk just disappeared. Hmm. 
And there he goes. It's so sad. But also triumphant. But also sad for me, personally. Oh, look, all of our companions are here if we wanted to talk to them. <laughs> we have, like, not talked to them at all this whole game, though. <laughs> yeah, our RIP in peace. We're all just kind of standing around his body. <laughs> My work here is done. To see no mass away. <laughs> well, Thiriel doesn't want to talk to us. Tyriel doesn't want to talk to us. Ariel does. The day is won. Diablo is vanquished. And all evil with him. Are you sure about that? Evil retreats, but it does not die. It's just immediately you're, you're done, right? You're, you don't want to. You're, you're done with this act, right? You, you want to just move on? <laughs> Game's immediately like you want to move on, right? You want to just go to the next act? Yeah, yeah, you do definitely, right? Mm -hmm. But I want to look around because we're at the pinnacle of heaven. This is the crystal arch. We should like you know appreciate it for a second before we leave. Yep, that sure is heaven. <laughs> I can take a screen cap, screen cap posted to forums. No. <laughs> Time to kill a certain mom. Spoilers. But also, no, not right now. Oh, I can see all the the devastation. I'm, I'm, can we really not talk to Tyrael or anyone? They're like, nah, nah. You don't want to talk to Tyrael and Ethereal. You want to talk to your companions that you definitely took with you this whole time, right? Day is one. I, I mean, Diablo I guess that's. Is vanquished, I guess that's literally it. Jennifer Hale voiced Leah. Did she? I didn't even re realize that. Like the joke that <laughs> the new remake Metal Gear, they announced is actually going to be another pachinko game. <laughs> I, li I like that they were they were like trying to explain like the reason why they named it Delta for like change and stuff. They're definitely going to be changing some plot points or something. Sounds almost exactly like her performance as Sheena in Tales of Symphonia. Really? I'm so curious. I gotta, I gotta hear the comparison at some point. Went to find Diablo's VA and saw that? That's neat. Alright. I guess we'll watch the... It's movie time. It's time to watch the end, the end game... The, the end of the, the base game. It's cutscene time. Cutscene time. Movie time! Popcorn time! And these cutscenes always bang. Oh. In the end, it was a mortal heart that saved two worlds from ruin and cast down the prime evil forever. <laughs> uh -huh, knock on wood. The implication that they just tossed his body off the <laughs> off of the spire, <laughs> but didn't retrieve the black soul stone first. It just seems silly. Yeah, we just Sparta kicked his body A new down. Day breaks for both angels and men. For mankind's greatest champion, the Nephilim, rose to confront the darkness that we, in our pride, would not face. It's a mighty powerful sunlight. Take my place among you once again. But this time, as a mortal. Since justice has been met this day, I will now stand as wisdom. <laughs> On behalf of those who risked all to save us. Forever. 
evermore, we shall stand together, angels and men, in the light of this glorious new dawn. Yeah, wisdom. Yeah, sure. <laughs> but don't worry. That does not... It's not the case for very long. And yes, we will be going through Reaper of Souls. Tomorrow. Diablo was defeated. <laughs> for a time, it seemed we would know peace. But it was not to be. For Diablo's essence lingers in the Black Soul Stone. It's like that piece lasts a whole five seconds. I cannot destroy the stone. Nor allow its evil to remain within the heavens. Yes, and the so next part was the expansion hidden. pack. Reaper of Souls. Even from the angels. Much like Lord of Destruction added, added Act 5, Reaper of Souls I added Act 5. that it will be enough. So we go right into it with the intro for Reaper of Souls. Why didn't we throw the uh, Black, Soul, Black Soul Stone into the Abyss? I don't know if you can put physical objects in the Abyss. I think it's only souls that would go there. But souls that go to the Abyss can still be brought back. Which is probably why Tyrael thinks... Well, <laughs> yeah, this plan worked so well the first time. Let's do it again. Let's just hide it. It definitely didn't lead to the events of Diablo 1 already. Run. Didn't even finish hiding it. Malfail. Uh oh. The tone in Act 5 is very different, I will say, in a good way. Go! Go! Find the They're the only one that can do anything! Rip the soul from his body. So, you can tell it's going to be a bit of a bit of a darker tone. It was a different, uh, I believe it was a different writing team that worked on uh, Reaper of Souls compared to the, the base game. Began in West March. Of that, I am sure. The angels have started a massacre, slaying all they find. I must see it with my own eyes, and learn why they have come. There are many questions, 
and I have little time to act. Yeah, so Malthale was mentioned before as the uh, the aspect of wisdom that had disappeared, and no one knew where he went. So in this we act, we find out what happened to him. And as you can see, he is now the aspect of death, the Reaper of Souls. So he definitely had a bit of a a bit of a change of heart. <laughs> <laughs> he definitely uh, has been through some shit. <laughs> Eating that tasty soul cotton candy. <laughs> Legally distinct death. Make Diablo Federation problem, not a sanctuary problem. <laughs> but yeah, Malthale has been mentioned. Um, but he's been kind of more of a background character up to this point. From Wisdom to Edgelord, a glow up. <laughs> and as you can see, uh, Tyrael being the aspect of wisdom lasted a whole, like, what, five seconds? Which apparently there's a whole book uh, that explains, I think it's a comic book, Storm of Light, that explains, like, the issues that Tyrael had with trying to reintegrate with, uh, with Heaven. Like, apparently he goes through, like, um, a lot of turmoil and conflict over, like, his feelings toward Ariel. Because, like, he realizes that he's, like, attracted to her and stuff, which is, like, weird for angels to feel. Like, I'm really interested in reading that. I I, I want to read it at some point. I want to hear about uh, Tyrael's uh, coming to terms with mortal feelings and stuff. Listen to Hawthorne Heights. He is not a base. <laughs> Could be an interesting read. Yeah. I mean, consistently the lore for these games is just so great and rich. Oh. Can't see it, but his black guy winner is done perfectly. <laughs> Did Mouth uh, Deal stare into the abyss and it stare back? Kinda. Kinda in a way. Nephilim. But I'll 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 wait until we get to those points before I start talking about that that lore. Tyrael sent me to find you. Malthiel has taken the black soul stone. You must come with me. Too it's Laura. <laughs> I will intervene. But you and Tyrael need to form a plan. We must find Malthiel. Tyrael should meet me in Westmarch. Go. It will be done. I swear it. Little, little baby Laura. He's 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 the the guy with the sick raspy voice in uh in Diablo 4 who, who like does the narration stuff. Uh he's going to be he's he's like our 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 Deckard Cain stand-in in Diablo 4. And yeah, this is where we meet him. Reaper of Souls, when he's a naive little dude. <laughs> Lorath before he got jaded, yeah. Hey, Cyber Shinobi! 50 pizzas? That's a lot of pizza. How are you doing? Have, hope you're having a good night. Hands out pizza, everyone. Thank you, thank you. So yeah, now that we're done with the base game, though, we can fully chat, spoiler talk, and stuff about everything. <sighs> So yeah, that was basically up to that, the end of Act 4, was all we had until Reaper's Souls came out years later. And after I beat that on Inferno, I didn't touch the game basically until Reaper's Souls came out. Let's see. All you think of is Death Dude sitting in his damn <laughs> shirt and skinny jeans. <laughs> oh my god. I can picture it. You're doing great? I'm glad you're doing great, Shinobi. But yeah, I have I have conflicting feelings about Diablo 3's campaign, like the the base campaign as a whole. Like it has a lot of fun parts in it, but ugh, there's so much like little tiny frustrating little details, a lot of contrivances that kind of just push the plot forward. And I mean, as you saw, Diablo himself was just kind of overwritten. Like, it's just, they they make him too much into, like, a Saturday morning cartoon villain. Which, like, worked, sort of, with, like, Belial and Asmodan, because they were, like, not the big bad. Like, I, it was okay, I think, for them to be, like, a little more goofy, I guess. But then once you get to Diablo, you're like, oh, no, that's just the way the writing is, isn't it? And then it's like, oh, no. This is, this is it. <laughs> it's not, it's not great. And the pacing for Act 4 is just kind of... it's kind of strange. Like, it, feel, it feels almost as incomplete as, like, Diablo 2, despite being longer and definitely not incomplete. 
and yet it still feels like there's like a lot of, that could have or was supposed to be there. Diablo also didn't seem like much of a fight either. Like this game's challenge seems awful. <laughs> Keeping in mind that I've been intentionally making this game, <laughs> I've been intentionally making the campaign harder for myself by not like properly like boosting my experience gain and stuff. Like if I wanted to, we could have easily been past level seventy at this point. But I've been I've been forcibly making it so that we're like kind of leveling at a more even pace. But yeah, the damage in this game is- I mean, I, I showed you what an endgame uh, damage looks like in the billions. It's ridiculous. Can't be Satan, can be great, but you gotta start with that. <laughs> like, it doesn't feel like the same character from Diablo 1 and 2. And in a sense it isn't. It's primeval Diablo. So you could, like, maybe headcanon argue that the other evils being in primeval Diablo influence his personality. But that's not, like, confirmed anywhere. I'm pretty sure. Disney's Hades does it best? Oh, I, I do love that performance. I also like Hades from the game Hades. <laughs> Here, we'll get to the... We're going to die! We'll get to the first waypoint, I think. Actually, she's hmm. coming to kill us all! Ugh. Hmm. I'm wondering if we should start this or not, or I should wait until tomorrow. Hmm. I'm torn. I'm thinking. Sleazy car salesman vibe works so well. It really did. It was a. Hmm. Yeah, I'll, I'll do the beginning of this. There are other ways into the city. Until we get well. It's point eleven thirty. Hmm. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. Act five is kind of long, actually. Act five is kind of long, actually. I'll play a little bit of it. We'll do a little bit. May as well wait. Five tends to go at an even pace. Act five does tend. To, Act five has much better pacing. Uh, and much like Act Five in Diablo Two, it's like pretty decently length. A lot of diverse areas to explore and stuff. Like it's way different from Act Four. Definitely feels like a proper like, expansion area. Movie Hercules is a bad adaptation of the Hercules myth, but a fantastic Superman movie. Yes, a fantastic Superman movie and a great critique of like kind of a critique of like. Uh, Sports culture and oh god, my stomach just growled. Maybe I should stop to eat. Uh, and kind of a critique of like sports culture and capitalism and like merchandising and stuff. Kingdom Hearts Hades was even better than the movie Hades. I'm trying to remember because I feel like they were basically the same character. It is really funny about the whole Sephiroth thing though. <laughs> Traitor Bone Army. It's, yeah, we're gonna be finding a lot of un undead, and well, I guess they, we ki it's kind of already been shown. We're gonna be fighting uh, angels, but they're not like the angels we've been seeing up to this point. They're a little different. Better place some now. Worst case is you finish early tomorrow, but at least you know it's finishing time for four. True. Yeah. Remember that weird song in Hercules where his merch was blowing up? The oh, the Zero to Hero song? I love that song. The music in that movie is so good. Alone. So many have been killed and the Reapers are everywhere. Are there other survivors? General Torian was defending a group of refugees at the old Zakarun Cathedral, but they're likely all dead by now. We'll see. We'll see about that. <laughs> these aren't just angels, these are angles. <laughs> Basically the same character, but Kingdom Hearts let James Woods go more ham as the character. Hmm. I'll, I'll pay more attention to Hades' character next time I play Kingdom Hearts. Which will probably be on stream, knowing me. But yeah, one of the other things that gets, like, kind of dropped for the rest of... For the rest of everything... Yeah, we don't really hear about Leah again, and I'm pretty sure. And her fate... Oh. 752% plus damage. Alright. We're finally giving up the uh, we're finally giving up the scythe. 
We're finally giving up the scythe. Keep moving. I think we lost her. No, no. Those with demon blood must die. Yeah. So as you can see, you can kind of already guess what Malfail's motivation is just from that. If you're, if uh, you've been keeping up with the lore stuff that I've been talking about, uh, with Inarius and Lilith and. Uh, the origin of the Nephilim and humanity and all that. You could probably infer everything just from that immediately. <laughs> oh, honey, you mean Hercules? <laughs> I love the muses in that, yeah. Seems like not good, not OP at all weapon. <laughs> this is like barely, this is like close to what we would see like endgame damage. Malthale's racist. Basically, yeah. That's a, <laughs> that's a very simplistic way of putting it. But yes, he's very anti-demon. Including anyone or anything that has even the blood of demons, even like as a distant relation. Which, as it turns out, is all of humanity. Because, you know, Lilith. Was watching Overly Sarcastic Productions episode of... Krishna, there was a whole episode where Krishna's uncle learns a prophecy of Krishna's world to kill him. So he sends wave after wave of demons to kill him, even as a child. Damn. Tries to nip a problem in the bud real early, I guess. Atmosphere seems to have improved with the expansion. It is a very- it's a much darker story already. Defend the church. Or at least tone-wise. A lot more overt, like, death and blood and destruction and, like, yeah, the tone is very different. You can tell it was a different writing team. And they had other plans for other expansions after this, too. But Blizzard had already lost faith, basically, in Diablo 3 by this point. So after Reaper of Souls came out, all of the other expansions were cancelled. And after the Necromancer pack that we got a little bit later, there was no more like new content made for this game after that. They started working on other games and concepting Diablo 4, which existed in like three or four different iterations before the one we have now. Including a Souls-like at one point. Let's see, I was thinking, does Disney's Hercules have more to do with Krishna's adventure than Hercules plot structure-wise? I never thought about that, that's interesting. You said it even before? Jail! <laughs> Big darkness, no parents energy. <laughs> <laughs> I have never seen an attack like this. Why has Malthale unleashed his forces? Look, it's Cheryl. He's back. Because he feeds on death. Every time his reapers kill, he grows stronger. And with the prime evil gone, Malthale believes this is the perfect time to end the eternal conflict. Mm. Humanity has nothing to do with that war. I agree. The church! All the refugees are inside! Follow me! Akrat's bane. Look at this all the bodies. What, what is it? All the refugees are hiding in here. A death maiden! Stop her! Never alone. Your soul will be mine. And that's the other thing. They're not just killing these people. They're ripping their souls out of their bodies. So, they're, so they're, it's worse than death. A fate worse than death for all of these people. Oh yeah, we made we doing damage now. No, they're doing worse than just killing these people. They're sapping their souls from their bodies. We must do everything in our power to slow the Nephilim down, so that the collection of souls is not interrupted. It is the key to Malthiel's victory. Diablo yeah, the Souls like could be interesting, but if that was what Diablo 4 ended up, I think the fanbase would have burned down the Blizzard offices. No, I I actually agree. I think it would I think it actually would be a great idea. For a side game, probably. But yeah, I agree. If it were a mainline game, no, oh, that would not have been received well. But I think it would be a really neat idea for us, like, uh, for like a side game, yeah. Kind of like how Elder Scrolls had, well, briefly attempted like Battlespire and Redguard. 
where they had like the third person adventure games as opposed to like the regular first person RPGs. I feel like they could I feel like Diablo could easily branch out into other genres that way. Do you like the Hayes VA went to audition the car salesman act? Yeah, yeah. J James Woods uh he came up with that idea with the, the car salesman. Like I may not like him as a as a as a person, but as an actor, I you know, respect. Still pretty oblivious to the lore, but if souls in the abyss can come back, then taking a person's soul instead of killing them is like ultra killing them. So human souls don't go to the abyss, as far as we know. Um, there's like I've, I've I've read some interviews about where human souls go, and there's like a lot of vague answers about it. Um, we see some like human souls in hell, like chained up to things and stuff, but I don't think the implication is that humans like go there per se. But we also see like ghosts and stuff around uh, in sanctuary, so. I don't know. It's kind of vague where human souls are supposed to go, but they don't go to the abyss. The abyss is where like demon souls go uh, when they are killed, and then they eventually have to make their way out of it. Don't like them as a person, but as an actor, respect describes so many entertainers. Yes, <laughs> yes, indeed. We must confront Malthale. Where is he? I know only that he is not in Westmarsh. He could have taken the Black Soul Stone anywhere in creation. There are no other clues. There may be. A sliver broke off when Malfeo took the Soul Stone. Perhaps by studying that sliver, I can learn his plans. Then you must remain here. I will do what I can for Westmarch. See, it's a lot less contrived as well how we get to our next steps. Like, what's our next clue? I don't know. <laughs> Soulstone Sliver. Okay. <laughs> That's fine. That's normal. Hey, Laura. So, the Haradrim have returned. Tyrael rebuilt the Order to help him take the Soul Stone from Heaven, and to protect mankind. After and that worked all, out so well the second time, huh? At once, no matter how powerful you are. Crazy thing that happened to baby Krishna, the uncle sent a demoness Putana to his village. She took the form of an attractive woman and managed to get permission to breastfeed him and plan poisoning him? Damn, that's next level. Damn, holy shit. Queen shit. <laughs> Glorious image of Diablo rolling down the street on a <laughs> We won! Making <laughs> his way downtown, rolling fast. Archangels when the Big Bad isn't publicly posting their actions in the hashtag living life. Fuck, what do we do? <laughs> Always funny that they call the sliver of the stone given the size. It's like half the dang thing, right? Like, scale-wise, this thing's fucking huge. Like, it looks like just the stone. I'm sure Diablo would make a great pop singer. <laughs> oh god, I don't know if I ever want to... I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> Baby Krishna saw through her plan and literally drained her life force through her boob. Man, mythology is insane. That is... holy shit. That's... that's insane. He all in an idol outfit. Oh my god. Someone has to have made that fan art at some point. Right? Malfeo, I believe anything. My brother, he was wisdom. I, I believe anyone. Council, there's art of anything. I believe that. And now, he has become this. How? After the destruction of the World Stone, Malfeo's mood darkened, and he left the heavens frequently. Then he disappeared completely. He must have developed a connection, no, an obsession with human souls. He was never meant to explore the domain of death. What would Rathma say if he were here? I, I, it is very interesting being a necromancer for uh, for Reaper of Souls. Uh, it's an interesting perspective. Fiction can't go hard as a real life myth and legend. Man, real life ancient myths are just so next level. Like holy shit, they go so hard. Yeah, roll them bones. <laughs> Diablo and the Primevals are the new band. My god. 
Can you imagine Diablo starting a rock band with his brothers? Oh my god. So, I, I want that to be like a fan thing. Any progress? The sliver is still connected to the soul stone. As the stone changes, the sliver will change too. Therefore, I can observe what Malfail is doing to the stone. And if we're lucky, even discover his plan. Hmm. The new boy band. Like, I- that, that would have been a good opportunity for, like, skins, I bet, for Heroes of the Storm back in the day. You know, when they still made content for that game. What was that Death Maiden doing? She was creating an orb that turns the living into Malfail's death creatures. A single orb can transform hundreds of innocent people every hour, and my men report two more of them out in the city. So, Crucibles. With two of them, Malfail has an endless supply of soldiers. This magic was not meant to be used, so... I will not stand for it. We won't stand for this. I have read spells about crucibles that could enslave the dead. Now angels are using them? Sadly, yes. And the Death Maidens as well. Their story is as tragic as Malfeel's. Once the vanguard of his wisdom angels, they followed him down the path to darkness. Damn. They used to be cool. Oh. <sighs> But yeah, Act Five. I, I'm I'm excited to get into it more, but uh, I'm hmm, I'm torn because I know Act Five is lengthy. I mean, the this map doesn't even show the full thing. Hmm. Hmm. I'm torn. Hmm. I'm almost thinking maybe I'll start stream earlier tomorrow than eight. Hmm. I'm contemplating. I'm contemplating. Oh, I love the little tap tap. That's so cute. Flip a coin. Hmm. I don't have any coins near me. That's the only problem. <laughs> oh, I know what I want to do. I want to show up to you, really. Here, one thing I want to do. I want to show... Let's see. I want to show, because I said I wanted to show on uh, on YouTube the uh, Heroes of the Storm uh, quotes for Primeval Diablo. <laughs> Flip chat and see how we land. <laughs> Flip chat like a coin. Let's see. Primeval Diablo quotes. Heroes of the Storm, there he is. Let's see, just the joke lines? That might work. Oh. <laughs> Moo. Can you imagine if he mooed? <laughs> Kneel before the prime evil. I am seven as one. Tathanet's fury. Man, this game was so cool. Briefly. Forms. A child, a warrior, even a friend. <laughs> One. His jokes are great. <laughs> hey, Tim! Look, Raiders! Hello, hello! Bump, bump, bump! Tape Anxious raided my stream. Welcome, with five welcome, viewers. Raiders! How are you doing, Tape? What were you playing? We uh, we just finished up uh, Act Four of Diablo Three. Are we in your house touching my stuff? <gasps> No, not my house. My things. My stuff. How are you doing? What were you playing? Uh, we, we finished up Act 4, and I was showing some of the, the Primeval Diablo joke quotes from Heroes of the Storm. Because there's there's one of them in particular I want I want to play. But there's like some uh some funny like little lore reference tidbits in these quotes. Uh but yeah, if anyone doesn't know me, I'm I'm Lucid. I'm a variety streamer. Currently, this week is going to be, like, all Diablo, because <laughs> Diablo 4 is coming out. Uh, we might play a little bit more of Act 5, and then tomorrow we're going to finish the game. Doing well, we're playing some- Oh man! 
bolt gun looks so cool. I watched a little bit of gameplay, uh, and it looks rad as hell. It's kind of tempting me to get into, um, because I heard it's canonically, uh, it, co it takes place, like, after, like, Warhammer 40k Space Marine, right? I'm really, I, I've, I've been, people have been telling me to play that for forever. I might, just so I can, like, be more lo up-to-date lore-wise with Bolt Gun. Because, man, but I'm, I'm so excited for, for, for boomer shooters and stuff to be, like, the thing right now. Seeing a lot of people playing it is like, yes, can we get more games like this? Yes. Are you, how are you, how are you enjoying it, though? Very light on story. <laughs> yeah, from what, what I've seen, it's mostly, like, the, like, taunts and, like, the, more of, like, the, the framing device, like, backstory. But still, oh, it looks so much fun. Up to late war rise uh, on 40k lucid, do you realize how not possible that is? <laughs> Fair enough. Loving it is just what being a space marine should feel like. Yeah, th I mean, the sound design alone, like, hearing, like, you can hear how heavy the armor is that you're wearing as you stomp around. Lethal just shot in the dark, but do you like sushi and the banshees? Yes. I do, yeah. I I don't talk about the those bands as much, because, I mean, they don't really make new music anymore. But absolutely, I, I listen to, like, sushi and the banshees and, like, Christian death and stuff like that. Uh, Bauhaus. The Cure. God, I love The Cure. Absolutely. Aww. Let's see. But yeah, the, the the sound design, the way you like stomp around and stuff, it's so good. Like the the the, the camera shaking just a little bit, like it feels like you're a like a, a bazillion. How, I don't know how tall the space marines are supposed to be, to, but it, you get the impression that you're like tall and stomping around this giant ass armor, like a basically a mech. <laughs> great, oh, just great sound design and visual design. But yeah, we were just listening to some quotes from uh from Primeval Diablo. This one he was just about to say, oh, it's so mean. Some days I dream of an inn in the countryside, burning to the ground. Because that was, if y'all remember, that's what Leah would say. She said that she dreamed of opening up an inn in the countryside. And now Diablo uses that line to taunt you. Because, you know, considering her fate, it's kind of fucked up and evil. <laughs> in like a very in-character in way. Can anyone hear me? I need you. I need, I need you to, to give, give in to terror. Like, that's so fucked up. <laughs> he uses her voice. It's so evil. I love it. That one kills me. <laughs> Maybe I did need those hell rips. <laughs> you can tell they had some fun with this. <laughs> I love it. I'm off to sleep. Have a great stream. Have a good rest of your night, Neko Rain. Thanks for hanging out. Have a good rest of your night. Sweet dreams. Brevity. Quack. Let your nightmares be nightmares. Do it. No, the mouths on my shoulders do not speak. They do not. And they won't stop. <laughs> See? <laughs> the mouths on my shoulders don't, don't speak. They just do that. And they don't stop. <laughs> I love the, that. The, the, the joke quotes in this game are so, like, worth alone. Oh my god. They were bringing up Mindless Self Indulgers in another stream, and streamer was like, I liked them when I was 15. I, I mean, I, my, my, my taste in music is, like, all over the place. Now I'm legit sad this game didn't thrive. I liked the, the idea for this game, too. Like, compared to, like, other MOBAs like League, there was an extra emphasis on, like, teamwork. Um, like, it doesn't track, like, individual KDAs, as, like, as much. Uh, so you have to, like, work... There's more of an emphasis on working with your teammates to take down enemies. Pokemon Unite is kind of closer than I think. It's been a long time since I played it. 
But I feel like it was kind of closer. Chicken. Everything tastes like chicken. <laughs> Lots of chicken. <laughs> oh my god. It's simple. The prime evils and the lesser evils combine to become the prime evil. Questions. <laughs> I think someone in the comments puts that one backwards. Ah, oh, not maybe not in this one. It's a reference to the first game, though. With the, if you all remember, way back when I played the first game, uh, when you first enter level sixteen, Diablo says uh, a line backwards, and if you play it back, uh, play it. Uh, if you play it backwards, it says to brush your teeth after every meal. Oh wait, it says like. Uh, eat your veggies and brush after every meal. <laughs> I think this one is also something like that, where it's something like totally innocent. <laughs> Reversing and then of course he says... Time, Reversing backwards messages is a waste of time. <laughs> he does call you out, yep. God, they're so good. Here, Here I want to. I want to hear his other jokes from uh from from this skin. Ah. Uh... I want to just hear his jokes. Nah, maybe I'll find it later and I'll post it. But it's so funny. A lot of, like, math jokes and stuff. Anyway. And yeah, they're all, like, dad-level jokes. They're all, like, evil dad jokes. <laughs> Gonna throw hands with Diablo. <laughs> Worth the way you can manage to get your hands on it. Oh, you responded to, to Vulcan. Let's see. Dad Diablo. <laughs> evil dad jokes? Absolutely. That is definitely his brand of humor. I love it. Let's see. So yeah, now we're in we're in West March. <gasps> Rats! It's Megs! Off they go. Technically he was dead for a little. <laughs> I don't know if that counts. <laughs> no, the only the only real bill for the prime evils is Mephisto. Which according to the lore though, he wasn't a very good dad. There was um in one of the lore videos, um the the recent ones that come out, came out for the like the book of Lorath stuff, there's a one line that just really stuck out to me, which was, uh, Lilith was not spared her father's hatred. So the Lord of Hatred, Mephisto, you know, I I, I guess. The implication being that he wasn't really the nicest guy to his daughter. Surprise, surprise. And that kind of that kind of broke my heart a little bit for her. But I have a I have a general kind of theory that Lilith is not really, like, evil, evil, per se. I feel like she's more of a tragic character. But I guess we'll see on Thursday. So let's just get some a number one dad mug and he shat uh, and shatters it in front of him. <laughs> God, I, I hope she would do that. Hmm. I guess with it being midnight, I should... I do have a few things I need to do. Maybe I'll just... I'll, maybe I'll start early tomorrow, or maybe I'll just go late tomorrow, so that we can finish Act 5. Yeah, I also haven't eaten in a little bit. I should probably eat. My stomach made a huge growl, like, a few minutes ago. Yeah, alright, I'm, I'm... I'm fighting my instincts, but I'll... I, yeah, 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 okay, okay. Lilith is simply misunderstood. Lucid? I mean... I- I 
think I think so. I mean, at least to a degree. I definitely empathize more with her than Inari's at this point. But we'll we'll see if that lasts. But let's look for somebody to raid. Go carry you. Yeah, I'll take I'll 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 take care of myself and stuff. But here, let's do let's do a poll because there's a few people on. Actually, are there? Mm, yeah, there's a few people on. All right, we'll do a poll. Manage poll. New poll. Raid? Question mark. Hey, Devolve! Oh no! Yeah, we were just gonna look for somebody to raid. Just in time for you to go, but I love the new pin on your hairband. Thank you. I'm gonna add more, um, so it can be uh, randomly swap with the, with the with the redeem to change the head the headband pin. Now that I figured out how to get that working. So we can have like an, a whole variety, a whole pool of options to for it to randomly choose from. Let's see, what options? We've got Shin Megami Tensei Strange Journey. I'll put SMT Strange Journey. Thank you for stream, no problem! I'm glad you all enjoyed your stay. Uh, Dark Souls Remastered? Sure. We'll put some Dark Souls on there. Uh... Let's see. Final Fantasy VIII. Eight. Thought I messaged him twice for a moment. No. Oh, no, doesn't look like it. I'm gonna make a tracker to see which pin stays on the longest. Hmm. That's not a bad idea, but I, oh god, that would take so much time to figure out how to do that and mix it up. That is a neat idea, though. Let's see. See, it works! Oh my god, I'm, I'm so happy every time it, like, you know, works. <laughs> it does what it's supposed to do. Let's see. I think that's good for, uh, for the options for now. Alright, poll is up. Vote, vote, vote. SMT is Shin Megami Tensei. Again, because I couldn't, there's no way I could fit the full name in there. I just thought my cubes growling. Just because Alucard and I posted similar oh, messages. Right. Yeah, yeah. Of course you do. Of course you do. Let's see. Y'all better not tie it. Come on. I need you to vote. There we go. Vote, vote, vote. Your vote matters. Looks like Final Fantasy VIII is in the lead. Let's see. Ba -ba -ba. So yeah, tomorrow we're gonna we're gonna finish Diablo 3. I don't know how I don't care how long it takes, we're we're finishing it tomorrow. And then uh no strems until Thursday. And then I have no work after that. So 6 30 p.m on on thursday i'll go live we'll chit chat for a little bit i'll get it in queue at seven and then we're we're playing we're, we're just gonna gonna go until i get tired looks like final fantasy 8 1. okay make sure that i think they're still good yeah they're, they're probably gonna go for a while they usually go pretty late all right we're gonna raid alm cute doggo Diablo yeah, Marathon, let's go! Yes! We were, I mean, yeah, we were gonna marathon it basically until I beat it. Until I beat the campaign. Um, however long that takes. I'll basically only stop to, like, go sleep, maybe eat, and then I'll go right back to it. Because <laughs> that's basically what I would be, would be doing anyway if I weren't streaming. And if I weren't streaming, I would be, I would have disappeared from the world. <laughs> so instead, I figured this was a good compromise. Instead of me disappearing forever. But yeah. And then afterward, um... Oh, I did finish that, saying this earlier. Um, but yeah, if the world boss event time is still, like, Saturdays at midnight, then it'll probably become a regular part of, like, Saturday batter days at midnight. That, um, we'll take, like, a break or, like, at the end of the night, we'll we'll do a world event. And then, like, clan members can, like, join in and stuff. And, and we can, like, take down the bosses. I'm excited. Nexus raids. I'm excited. All right. Have a great rest of your night or day, everybody. Stay hydrated. Stay safe. And I'll see y'all tomorrow. If I do decide to go early, um, I'll, I'll tweet about it and I'll post it on the schedule. So just keep an eye out on, on Discord and stuff, like usual. But good night, everybody. Bye-bye. Love y'all. Good night. And thank you so much for all the raids and subs. Good night.